The following program is hosted by immature, irreverent, obnoxious, and often disgusting young men. Listener discretion is advised. This time on Nude Clan. The, the, today's episode <laughs> brought to you by the letters E A F U. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Nude Clan. I am your host, Caleb Craig. This is Cameron. Caleb Schweiss. Yes, and today we're going to be talking about whether or not the video game industry is sustainable as it is. And uh, before we get into that, what have you been playing, Cam Cam? I didn't know we were talking about this today. Okay. Cameron? <laughs> well, you got, you got a little bit of foresight beforehand last night in the car. A little but, bit of foreskin, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, all, little bit. that's all he has. <laughs> Most of it is gone, <laughs> but he has little a little bit. bit left. That would explain his any problem, though, got wouldn't it? Got that sweet flap. Catches the <laughs> Makes that awesome little uh, You know, since I lost weight, I don't have that problem. Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> it's a fat man problem. I, <laughs> it's out. a good update. <laughs> yeah. oh, My great. dick My is, is on the outside. It's about a half an inch bigger than it was before, which is nice. Oh, good. So it's you nice. now mark the two inch spot on the ruler. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got that little J, that lowercase <laughs> J next to it. <laughs> okay. Um, I've been playing a lot of Shadow War, especially since I'm renting it, don't own it. Every day I play it, <laughs> <laughs> it means more money I put towards this game. Um, I think yeah, but you can return it when you know you're going to be playing for a couple of days, right? <laughs> that's right. That's what you should do. Yeah, yeah, that's what I should do. So I should have returned it yesterday, but you know. Well, you we um, might as well just let Once it I reach now. the one half it's mark, I will say I have paid too much to rent the game. Once I've paid half of the game. Are you value. then going to go buy the game? and? Spin? No. Oh, okay. No, let's be okay. stupid because I could still finish it before I've paid the full value of a new game. All right. All right. Anyway, Shadow of War, I might have played a little bit of Battlefield 1 earlier this week, but other than that, that's pretty much all I've played. All right. I, I have played solely Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories this week. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. It. One game. Did you beat it? Yes, I did. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. We're supposed <laughs> to wait. Yeah, there's a, there's another section. There's another that, segment Jared. for that. There well, is. But yes, I did beat it. Okay. So. All right. Well, we'll talk about that in a second. I have played nothing. I played nothing this week. Nothing at all. I That's was, believable. Waiting for my tactics advance, but I also need to go buy a Game Boy Advance tomorrow. Uh, I got a credit card bill that I paid for, and I'm waiting for them to release more credit, and I shall then go and get Thank you. my Game Boy Advance. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, so, till that happens, I don't have a game to play except for Shadow of War, which I have not bought nor rented. Uh, yesterday would have probably been the best day to play, and instead I came down here and hung out with Caleb and Cameron, so. Sounds like you wasted your day. You guys didn't even go see kind the movie. Kind of did you waste to. my day, but it was fun. It was fun hanging out. Yeah. And we're having some El Tappy Wappy. Probably is, the best uh, Mexican restaurant that's still in Utah, so. I don't know a better place. And I've only had one item on their menu. The other yeah. stuff is really well, good, too. <laughs> there's really no reason to get anything else. I mean, no. you have such the variety. You can get the pork it's pineapple. It's so You can get a steak pineapple. It's so damn good. <laughs> and that's all you need, man. It's just that fucking half a pineapple. It's so and good. And I have been just ripping, ripping uh, my a-hole apart this morning. Uh, it has a, a gaseous... Uh, 
<laughs> plague has come. <laughs> Making and, me proud. Uh, Do I have to go wash my couch cushions? Is that what you're telling me? I don't know. I wouldn't I sleep been, on them. I could have been farting all through the night, but I'm definitely farting now. I woke up this morning right and there was and there was now. a def there was a definite dankness to my room when I woke up this morning, so <laughs> If, it, if it's similar. It's a little steamy. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody cooking eggs? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what have you been playing? Uh, I have played a little bit of uh, Shadow of War and then Final Fantasy X. And that's it. Nice. Nice. Then getting on that FF10. What about that 10 too? Uh Soon. 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 Okay. Probably this week, actually. The whole game? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Depends on how willing I am to just plow through it. You're not going to want to do anything else. You're either going to want to plow through it or kill yourself. So you got to uh, decide at some yeah. point. <laughs> so uh, what is, uh, has anyone beaten a game? Yep. I beat Final Fantasy X. Nice. And that'll be a no for me. Final Fantasy X. Yeah, I beat uh, Liberty City Stories. This pen was working. This pen was working two seconds ago. I had to get this mechanical you're not pencil worthy of, BS. You're not worthy of writing on the hog with your pen. All right. FF10. And Liberty Cities. <laughs> Liberty. Yeah, Liberty City Stories. This doesn't even have a good spring in it. I can just do that and it goes back in. F every writing. Caleb, can we just go through your house, find every (laughs) writing utensil, throw them away, and then go to Office Max and get you a new set? I don't think that's necessary. That sounds like book burning. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think it's anywhere near as bad as book burning. (laughs) Bring out your mechanical pencils. You get I, little, I have heard reports of you harboring mechanical pencils <laughs> in this house. Is get, this true, Mr. Schweiss? We should get one of those uh, like lead, <laughs> lead cartridge pencils where you can pull the, the cartridge out of the bottom and push it in the top and it makes the whole thing go down one. But then if you lose one of those little cartridges, the fu- fucking thing's useless. You're just using the nub. You have to take it out and just use the nub. To, to Here's write. what you can do. Get a pack of pens. When a pen goes bad, chuck it. <laughs> Who here has That's actually my system? Who here has actually been from the beginning to the end of a pen? I have many times. I think nope. I have once, but it usually gets stolen or lost. Usually, the beginning something. of my pen is halfway done already because I find it from someone else who lost. Do you it, get so. like little cheap big pens that are like twenty five oh, cents no. each? I have I have very uh, particular tastes in my pens oh, as well. You? What do you get? I get the zebra, the zebra, the stainless steel, uh, the aluminum cartridge zebra pen i'm gonna have to try that seven. i like been it. working on these like g2s or whatever no, don't get the ink They're the okay. gel ink ones but yeah i like the I've zebra been, there's a pen that i've used before that's amazing and i need i'm trying to fig- find out which pen it was so every time i go buy pens it's like i go i look at the the pen aisle and i go which one of you mother effers <laughs> was the amazing pen and I'm sure the bigger the price tag, the better the pen. But uh, the Zebras, do you know the model? It's just called the Zebra. Um, it's like the Zebra F dash. I mean, you'll see, we'll see it if we wanted to go right. go do that. I'm going to have to go find myself a pen podcast. I found <laughs> out that exists, by the way. Wow. What? <laughs> I know I know. there's a fountain pen YouTube channel where you can look at all the various types of fountain <laughs> pens. If you want to get into that. There's a guy. I'm sorry. William, dip, 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 who dip, dip, came dip. and... Um, interviewed us for his podcasting podcast right uh he his first episode came out and he did a lot of really heavy post editing and one of the things he did was you know you could have a a podcast about anything then he had a clip of another podcast talking about pens in glorious detail glorious Uh, detail for a pen lover i'm sure I was floored. I admitted I had I did not think that there would ever be a pen podcast. Oh yeah. 
And uh, now announcing on Geek Team Entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> One time I was out getting the my pen fifteen club. A pen. <laughs> a pen Honestly, podcast. that would be the greatest name for a pen podcast. <laughs> <Hey>. Pen fifteen. <laughs> I love it. Um, no, there's this one time I was buying a, a pocket knife, right? And there's this guy it. there who had a pen <laughs> that he had paid $200 for. It was like this Damascus steel pen. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I've got my ivory. Uh, solid gold. <laughs> ivory tusk pen. I mean, you got, you got your, your park, you have your Parker pen guys. You have your block bond pen guys. It just depends on what you want out of your pen. If wow. it's a status symbol for you. I want it to be runny, Quill. but not smearing. <laughs> Yeah, I want quill and I can't ink help you there. Such a light. <laughs> I, I use the zebra. I use the zebra pen. That's just your. I, like just you're going to talk pen. about which kind of bird feather yeah, you no, take. It's like it has to be a California condor, or I'm not buying it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only use species. I only <laughs> use peacock quills. Yeah, it's like this fucking like six foot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> you already lost me because you're a person who buys birds. No, I'm buying just buying his feathers. <laughs> he's just buying feathers. That's yeah, all he's, he's doing. He's buying oh, it for the quill. He's, be, he's oh, buying okay. rare and exotic gotcha, feathers. Gotcha. Yeah, from endangered species. Pretty soon we're just going to see an eagle say, mounted I on his wall. I hate people who have birds in their house. You hate pain. Oh, yeah? Well, the, her bird sounds like it's being murdered in the next room <laughs> over. I, I do hate Paige's mom, whose house I, we were that at. That bird was funny. Though. She that lives in a... That bird was way too damn loud. She, My grandmother, in case anyone's like... <laughs> Joe just hates everyone, doesn't he? I have yes. birds. Birds are great companions. Yada, yada, yada. I love it that they're a flying creature and I get to put them in a tiny little space for them to be a prisoner of mine so that I can, I can enjoy their presence of all times. Here's what I think about birds. I, look, my grandmother, she's an evil person. I'll admit that. But... Oh, and and she has birds. That's just like another thing <laughs> to on the list evil. to make her more evil. Got so, it. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, it doesn't matter if you're if you're my grandmother. Uh, if you have birds, go go to hell. <laughs> just go unless it's a chicken. I think chickens are acceptable. But, what about uh, turkeys? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Turkey needs room to to be free. And but I like they're, when but I they're go, also just a slaughtered bird. When I go driving up in the mountains and I yeah, but turkeys. if you have chickens, you don't own chickens to fucking slaughter them in your backyard. You, you own, own chickens eggs, to yeah. get fresh eggs. Eh, that's not the only reason. Yeah, no. So I what? Mean, what's a, a chicken? Pet. I'm not talking about your business. What's a model? chicken gets old enough to start laying eggs? You don't want to kill it because they're, they're. Why they would you have gamey. a chicken as a pet? No, you, you just don't. have chickens in your backyard. Chickens that's are like demons, a, dude. That's like a suburban thing. That biggest fear is the chicken. No, dude. Like I have you know, <laughs> asshole chickens. Hey, if I have get been, away. <laughs> so I'm like, why I the fuck would it. anybody no willingly well. take a chicken as a pet? Uh, for eggs, for free eggs. Yeah, it's the only sort reason. Sort of. You still eggs. have to feed the chicken, so it's not really free. You're, you're saving <laughs> you don't, like no, no, a you few don't, cents per egg. You know, it's not for the price. It's for having fresh eggs. Is the only reason. Uh, no, it's they're for still the price. they're still warm when you're cracking them. <laughs> yeah, it sounds gross to me. Whoa. I would totally do it though. Like, <laughs> straight out of its ass. I'd be like squeezing it, like, come on, give me that fucking egg. Well, I need to go. I'm not even gonna it's watch. Like, it. Having a parrot in your house is like a dis- so when I was disgusting like disgusting to me. Four or five uh, despicable. My sister had what? one that talks? That'd be awesome. Like yeah, if you could he teach should it. Should be in the the okay. Like 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 fucking Amazon Bilbo jungle right from now. Paige's house, ah, dude. <laughs> also, they'll keep you up all night. You think your freaking cat is annoying? <laughs> no, just I just keep remembering that the Paige's bird in the other room. It's just laughing. It's just laughing as loud as it can. He's just like, holy crap, who's here? <laughs> He's doing that because he wants freedom, and he thinks that if he annoys you enough, that. You might let him go. Help me. <laughs> Look, the bird wouldn't bite people so much if the bird was happy. <laughs> That's true. If the bird I mean, could just um, run. He just bites a little bit. Paige's mom does live in a pineapple careful, careful. down the He'll street. He'll bite your freaking pinky off. If, if that is a warning to anyone about their parrot or their dog, you're a terrible pet owner. <laughs> <laughs> No, so when I was four or five, my Caramel sister had had like one of those uh, little lovebirds. <laughs> my sister had like one of those little lovebirds that'll you know 
they call them peaches, whatever. Um, if they, you let him out of the cage, he likes, he liked to, uh, chew up magazines and put like the magazine tears in his feathers. Um, but he didn't up, did end up flying away because someone opened the door and he yeah. didn't clip his wings again. And he's that bird's real happy with you there, huh? And he flew yeah. away. Yeah. Yeah. He nice. probably died immediately because he doesn't know how to defend for himself. This is my only vegan esque quality is that I don't like pets that shouldn't be pets. And I think it stems house. from you not wanting to deal with that pet, not for the pet's own. No, the freedom. noise is a huge part. Yeah. I'll admit that. The noise is a huge part. If the parrot was silent, then I guess it wouldn't be that big of a deal. I had this uh, pet iguana. Like every time I'd come in to feed her, she would like smack the cage with her tail, like all pissed. <laughs> <laughs> she got out because the cage fell off and like broke, and then they was just gone. It's like four foot iguana in florida <laughs> it was fucking huge dude that iguana probably became the apex predator if it's territory <laughs> <laughs> there are some animals that are like that have been bred over time or have evolved to be companions to humans and then there are animals that haven't been and there. they can't yeah i don't think birds can and no. so why I mean, hawks could be trained you're and stuff. just doing that to, that's true to be your own lord what if i had a hawk place what about that and i went hawking yeah he had a hawk and if i like pulled off his hood and i People like got him who to go do that would have, have like whole rooms for the falcons though it's yeah. like a falconry that would be like awesome they, as fuck dude no because they come back to you caged. you let them go and they go kill shit and they bring it to you that would, I think that would, I don't know. <laughs> I would have to talk to a falconer and not punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I think that they treat the hawk those, those hawks or falcons pretty well. So there's not a treatment thing. Well, does the, um, is the hawk allowed to just fly? Yeah, they, that's the whole point. Yeah, they, you, you let it they go. usually have like a, a room to themselves. That end, you like, when you take it out, you let it go and it goes and hunts and it comes yeah. back. Yeah. Like they become, I don't know. I'm iffy on that one. Not they're sure. like almost like a dog. Like when you, you get them when they're really young and you like train them to be with you and then they just like go do their hawk. Honestly, I don't think people back. should be imprisoned either. I think, uh, we should just kill them. Yeah. I think people who live in <laughs> cities are just, just oh. so confined. <laughs> Apartments, come on. Look, if we want to put them in jail for the rest of their life, we should just shoot them instead. <laughs> so if it's for the rest birds. of their life, mm, I'm not going to. Totally disagree. <laughs> yeah, shoot the birds instead. Yeah, be like, you know what? I kind of want shoot that as a pet. The birds. <laughs> I mean, you might as well. I love that with hunting, though. Like, I enjoy hunting, and I've I've killed my fair share of deer and shoot the birds, birds that were innocent and with a BB gun. But More like ducks. Yeah. No. Yeah, but to be honest, their death there is going to be quicker, <laughs> and more enjoyable than starving to death. True. Or being ripped apart by another predator true i uh much I, much more slowly than being like one shot and done hopefully i just, I just find it funny to me it's just funny when i hear hunters talk about how beautiful animals are as they're like <laughs> blasting them they're like i love deer they're a beautiful animal <laughs> that's why i punch massive holes in the exit wound and rip their shoulders straight out of their fucking bodies like, it just seems weird to me like i'm fine with hunting and all that and animals are pretty cool but it's weird to be like, man, that sure is beautiful, and then just blow it up. <laughs> I sure do love that building. <laughs> there it goes. All that beauty. That gives it like a stalkerish <laughs> vibe. It's just like, I love you so much, I'll be the one to end you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I deserve to kill you. So who who else can I make enemies of? I'm pretty uh, sure you've offended well, that like, what other about views about everyone. things do you have? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what what other opinions do you have, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> Look, got any more opinions tucked away? I just, I just don't think a bird should be caged. That's all. Um, oh, man. How about the old canary in the mine? How do you feel about that? Using them to, like, test for death for death at one out. point it was necessary and i do think that humans are more important than animals i'm sorry i said it oh there you go Damn you've it. offended I another it. group I, know. I just offended people who were like <gasps> why is uh, Peter knocking at our door sorry if you're gonna pick between one to save and kill you gotta pick your own species sorry <laughs> sorry it's just uh just genetic you got to um what are we talking about? Uh, how Ian Your opinions. Uh, are, yeah. Oh, wait. We got a question, right? Oh, yeah. We do have a question. Oh, don't we have a movie trailer, too? We do. Rampage. I think we need to do a contest uh, once Rampage gets a little closer. 
Well, I haven't seen this trailer. Oh, we got it. We got to watch this trailer. Yeah, can't, can't. The Rock is in the movie. Trailer. The Rock is in the movie. I yeah. love it because I saw somebody tweeting like the actor, right? Yeah. All these other movies. <laughs> like, what other Rock is there? They're like all these other rocks, movies. Um, it could just be his twin Dwayne, but Rampage got the <laughs> yeah, green Dwayne. light. Dwayne and I'm like, Dwayne Johnson all of those other Johnson? movies are probably going to yeah. be ass too. Like every video game movie is shit. I don't know why you're like, oh, this one over this other one. It's like you're choosing between like which turd to grab. Here's first. what's like, confusing about video games are already a visual storytelling medium. So why make them a visual storytelling? So why medium again? move over to another storytelling medium that then requires the gamer, who probably likes to sit at home and game. To then go out to the movie theater and see this movie, and it also forces that's what's confusing about it. Also me. forces I, critics who don't sit at home and game and don't like watching <laughs> ass movies to watch an ass movie and <laughs> fucking rip on it, and then everyone to be like, "Oh, it wasn't that bad." It was. <laughs> so, it was that bad. I think it's more painful for the dumb. fucking video game players who have to watch this atrocity on screen. But the thing uh, is, is a lot of them are the ones well, that defend it. Pixel Edge seemed really excited for it. He tweeted us, and I did not click on his. Link. Was he tweeting sarcastically? I'm pretty no, sure. No, I don't think he was. I think he said that he thought it was going to be the best video game movie ever. Yes, oh yeah, he said it was going to be the highest grossing, and I'm like, I don't know, man. Mortal Kombat made some pretty good money. You know, looking and on nobody looking at really the comments, knows though, for what the Rampage trailer, is. Yeah, look at the comments for the trailer. People just think it's going to be another big monster movie. They have no idea that's based off of a game. So it could be like another Pacific Rim, another. Movie oh, it's it's going to be a definitely giant monster movie. I've seen the first twenty minutes. Like Pacific five times, so. yeah. yeah, Pacific Rims. Pacific Rims. <laughs> Pimp, it's the, uh, a new company. I've got uh, <laughs> about starting. <laughs> All right. So the question, real quick, it's from Skull it's Haiti. Like it says, uh, "Do you ever feel like the other members' uh, scores changes your score? Uh, what is your opinion on privately giving scores for games before review episodes?" Uh, would you still be able to change it if another member points uh, uh, point of view genuinely changes your opinion? Uh, but would you still somewhat hold to your score? Well, haven't they listened to the episode? Something. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I usually think a roundabout score before I start reviewing the game. And then... Um, I rarely change based on someone else's thing, but sometimes maybe they got a good point. Maybe I'll if they bring something else to the table bring, that you were bring considering. Bring it up like one point or down one point, but it's not going to be like five points. No, uh, my views are always pretty pure. <laughs> He's just straight up wrong. Anyways, I, I pulled up I pulled up Pixel's <laughs> tweet. No fixing that. And he says he, he shows it to us and he goes, How well do you think it'll perform? Sadly, I think it'll be terrible and the highest grossing video game movie for a long time. Oh, okay. So he thinks it'll Miss be misread his tweet. Yeah. Now I'm gonna get a tweet and then midway through he's gonna be like, Oh no, I heard the second part. Okay. <laughs> Cameron. Um I personally, when uh, or I'm looking, thinking through the categories, I'm like, I'm going to say this number. And I will say, yes, I am open to changing it a bit if I hear something that I had been thinking about before but forgot. What I really need to start doing is write down my opinions beforehand um, just so I can remember everything at the get-go. But yeah. for the most part, no, I say what I say just because I feel that way about the game. I mean, we can just go back to the review of Armored Core for answer. We'll see. Yeah, that there's um, a real split in the in the reviews there. For me, it's uh, I do change, and I am willing to change based on what someone else has brought up. But that's only because I'm teetering between like a seven and an eight, or an eight and a nine. Yeah, it's yeah. rare. It's not when you're like I effing hate this game. Yeah, it's rare when I have. It's almost kind of rare when I have a a moment <laughs> where I'm not teetering between one number and another number that's surrounding it. And then when Craig here hates something about a game, he fucking goes on a religious crusade against it. <laughs> <laughs> it could deter him from his rage. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my rage is justified always. And uh, I want to read the comments that are on this one, actually. Do you mind pulling those up? Uh, because I think some people bring up some good points and some things I want to cover. Uh, Rude Rose says, personally, this doesn't affect me. The YouTube show Extra Credits did an episode on this called The Anchoring Effect. Uh, you should look that up, but uh, no, I can read other people's thoughts and accept them. Uh, that's never changed my perception of something I have already experienced. 
uh, Abrex says, I think it has, uh, I think it has to have an effect, even if it's just subconscious. Yeah, I agree with most of what you said. I guess I'll give it an eight too. Um, obviously if you have strongly disagree, you'll have no problem giving a different score, but if it's close, I can definitely see the group of uh, influencing scores. Uh, Alistair says that's, uh, that's what you get for using such an arbitrary system anyway. And see, the thing about the arbitrary system, <clears throat> it's true, but I mean, you can say that about any sort of critical review. Like, it's arbitrary to give it out of 10. It's arbitrary to give it five stars. It's arbitrary to give it anything. The thing that makes it not arbitrary is at the very end when we say, this game is worth playing. That is the non-arbitrary decision. So well, if we give it a It's if it basically seven, if we say it's fun or not. I mean, the gameplay Isn't that store, arbitrary, though? Isn't that just because of what we thought? What, what we right, think but fun? if you think about it, Netflix, yeah. Netflix got rid of its uh, five-star program where you can't no it's longer It's because everyone, it. all the mouth breathers, just give all the big-budget <laughs> movies breathers. five stars. It's like... Yeah. It's just well, because people would not watch big people movies. would not watch certain movies because it was below a certain star count, and Netflix turned it instead to hey, based off of what you watch so far, we think you're going to like this. Yeah, and so it's allowing you to watch more films you might not have watched because you they take away the star rating system. Maybe I don't Frankly, know. Frankly, I think they shouldn't have a rating system at all and just have like a default page that set up and a better. I want all the desktop search capabilities on Netflix to be in the freaking apps. I want to be able to go through genres and see everything that Netflix has in that genre. Yeah, you, you know can. what? Amazon you? does that. Amazon and is it much works. better. Yeah. With their you can go thing. search the genres on but Netflix. Amazon likes on to app. show you all the ones Depends that you have to pay app. for, Depends too, Depends on though. the platform that you're on, whether or not I can go... PlayStation 1 can. Whether or not I can go language and... Uh, Italian and be able to see all their Italian movies. Just try to go up twice once you get into the main menu of Netflix. Well, what are you watching Netflix on? Um, on my Fire Stick and PlayStation. Okay. Are you able to do that on both? Mm-hmm. More, can you see all the genres or just like their main seven? All the genres. Really? Yeah. I don't think it's all of them. I don't think it's all of them either. I'll show you. I can show you. The desktop, like, one, I the desktop, desktop one, one definitely has way more genres. It has way more options. There's at least 15 separate genres that I can remember seeing in that list when I do yeah. that. I don't like Netflix as much anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> they really push their own shows whether or not you like them. And yeah, that's their what movie it's selection has turned real not good. Yeah. Um, like they, they got... Got about a hundred movies worth watching on there, and that's it. So, to me, anyway. But whatever. I I got uh, I got the old uh, Filmstruck app, which has all the art films that used to be on Netflix and Hulu for cheap. They all went on to art film apps. <laughs> now it's Filmstruck time. Enjoy that. I will. I will so enjoy it. But Netflix used to have like so many great old movies on yeah. there. Yeah, it did. And now it's like, oh, we'll have a few new movies. And but now they're originally some old classics. Now all that movies. money they were spending to have a license to show those movies, they're not putting into their own production. I think I think that is a big part of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I've heard Mindhunter is good, and I'm I want to see it. Okay. Yeah, it's, it was cool. So Netflix is coming out with a uh, fantasy slash real world type thing coming out with Will Smith starring in it. Uh, I think it's a series so where is it just going to be Will. It's Smith? it's, it's oh. Will Smith with orcs and, and fairies and wizards and stuff in like crazier? Los Angeles as a police officer. I think Amazon just got the rights to Lord of the Rings and they're doing a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> I did hear something like that. Yeah, I, think, oh, I man. think it's Amazon. I might be wrong about the network, but I'm pretty how, sure. How Amazon. how can you touch that? How can you make that into a TV show? Here's the thing. Peter Jackson. That's once how. once something is considered a classic, it's not a good idea to remake it. Yeah. You can remake movies over and over again, but once the like the one that was huge in a classic, once that has come out, not a good idea to remake it. I know Ben Hur in the sixties was a remake. But Ben Hur in the sixties is now the Ben Hur. Yeah. And the idea of doing another Ben Hur is a really bad idea. Um I don't know. The only other exception to this may be King Kong, but the seventies King Kong, no one's no one even remembers the seventies King Kong. It's true. They might remember the Peter Jackson one. Yeah. It's not and great. a lot of people like that one and I enjoyed it. The way I could see it was okay. The way I could see Lord of the Rings TV shows if they did it like Vikings or something like that. 
it's just not a yeah, good idea. But it's already a movie, and it's like one remake, of the best trilogies. Remake movies that didn't do that well or were kind of mediocre and make them great. Don't remake great stuff, even if it is movie to TV. I think it's a bad idea. I don't think it's going to satisfy anyone. I I doubt it will, just because you're you're already going over that hump now. Lord of the Rings was able to do it despite the fact there was two cartoon Lord of the Rings movies because those movies sucked. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, they made a good movie. Out of, they made a good movie out of the same source material. I don't, I don't, well, I don't know if they sucked. They, they sucked when I was 12 and I watched them. I haven't seen them since then, so I don't, I don't know what my opinion would be now. Is but that The Hobbit and then The Lord of the Rings? It's like you wouldn't want to remake the Harry Potter series right now. Yeah, that's that would be that's a bad a, idea. It's a very they bad could idea. do they could do a TV show about kids in Hogwarts. <laughs> Just, sure, as a spinoff, yeah, yeah, I could live with that. Yeah, like, and make it like a slight magical comedy. But uh, full remake, stop! Just stop! Just yeah, they're already stop. doing the spinoff for Harry Potter anyway. Yeah, aren't they making that a series? Even Isn't then, be like a trilogy. Hey, uh, Craig, probably. I want you to tell me honestly. If you're going to go talk to people on the street, what Spider-Man they going to remember? Spider-Man 2? No, okay, well, no. I mean, which Spider-Man? So, Toby Maguire, uh, Andrew Garfield, or the new guy? Uh, and the Maguire. new guy did well, and that movie was really big. It depends on which say, generation you ask. Okay, yeah, I would say it depends on how old they are. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I Just would not say, in general, Because if they're as old as us... At least Toby Maguire. Then and it's Toby Maguire. <laughs> I know we're not that. But old. if you're going to ask someone who's younger than us um, by like maybe even four years, it's probably going to be a different Spider-Man. That, that's it's most Spider-Man. likely going to be the new guy. Yeah, that's I haven't seen a single one of the new ones. I haven't even seen Spider-Man three. They're pretty decent. The uh, the Spider-Man newest one. Watch it. Not great. I, I haven't seen Spider-Man two, three either. It. No, Spider-Man. I think no. Spider-Man is kind of a lame superhero. I hate to Tobey Maguire, but Spider-Man two is excellent. <laughs> Craig's hatred of Tobey Maguire honestly confuses me. The sad part is that when I think Bugs of the shit out of me, is something I've noticed with me a lot of a lot of the time, like when I talk about great superhero movies, I never include the uh, the Dark Knight because like those don't count. You know, they like do though? No, they don't. Those yes, are they those do. are good movies. These are good superhero <laughs> movies. That, that are good <laughs> superhero movie you took it to another good, level. A good, a good superhero <laughs> is like it's like when you have a really good drink and you mix it with a not so good drink, and it makes a good drink, but not a really good drink. So like the the superhero tag brings it down a notch. All right, because <laughs> there's a general. It's either going to be Marvel where it's the same movie every time, or it's going to be DC where it's just not a great movie ever. I will say none of the DC movies are even in my top ten. For superhero, for movies? superhero movies, <laughs> but DC, <laughs> but Batman be. is a DC movie. I'm it's, sorry, DC Universe uh, thing, the new thing, the extended, yeah. U- oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, the extended universe. All three Batmans are in my top ten superhero movies. Well, yeah. they're one, two, and three. Yeah, Spider Man one and two with Tobey Maguire are also in that top ten. I would agree with that, um, despite my despite dislike. <laughs> I <laughs> Tobey Maguire. I think the first Iron Man was pretty entertaining. I right. love that. Yeah. Although I never thought it was forever. a great movie, I thought it was fun though yeah um so guardians that's the of the bottom galaxy. part of my top 10 guardians of the galaxy does that really count as a superhero yes movie? it is it is a superhero no. movie. oh yeah i guess in the second one he does turn out to be a superhuman no the, well, the guardians of the galaxy the, are in the superhero universe yeah, they're a group of superheroes yeah <sighs> okay it's All a right, superhero fine. movie guardians of the galaxy is gonna be up there then <sighs> it will be yep I, f- I still feel like that first Guardians of the Galaxy is the only is the only Marvel superhero movie that has a good balance between humor and action. Well, Everything else there. fucking fucks it up. It's that original Superman. <laughs> oh, I'll give a Zack Snyder movie. I think Watchmen is fantastic. Watchmen was you know good. What? Yeah, Watchmen is good. It's but. better than literally every other Zack Snyder movie. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Schweiss obviously has different opinions by a lot. <laughs> I think I think the Dawn of the Dead remake is his best, and then Three Hundred. Uh, have you seen Watchmen? No, I haven't. Oh, you gotta oh, see Watchmen because I've seen that Dawn of the Dead and Three Hundred and a group of his other films, and it is literally I don't his know, best. man. Three Hundred is campy and cheesy, but it is three hundred has fun. some pretty awesome lines. And some three hundred, the slow mo is it's great with this one. movie. His, the first one, his slow mo is fucking annoying. It's, <laughs> yes, it's like every two and seconds. It's not. It's not. In but that there literally as is much. his style. I know that script it's is not awful. his. 
The acting is that that the slow mo is, is his only his. thing. That's not his only thing. It's his only. No, thing. he's he's a very strong visual filmmaker. Oh, Deadpool, Skull Haiti um, said that one's a great one. Yeah, Whether Deadpool's or not you like one. him, yeah, Deadpool's great. Um, I think this year. Oh, the, the X Men films, Joe. The best one oh, I've shoot. seen. X Men Two. It's a great one. The best movie, superhero movie I've seen this year is probably that uh, Logan movie, though. Okay. Yeah. Old Man Logan. Old Man Logan. Dude, I haven't seen it yet. It's, it's really good. good. I need to see Do it. Do we have it? It'll make you cry. It'll make I Joe do. yourself. I, I, Joe, I, I, Joe, you will cry. I could just see that happening. I haven't seen that or X-Men Apocalypse. I haven't either, but I don't really care. I, seen, I liked it. I've seen all I the I haven't seen, like, movies, the so. last three X-Men movies. They've they all been pretty decent. You saw Deadpool, didn't you? Deadpool is not part of that universe. <laughs> he sort of is, but not really. He should be. But I mean, they, they poke fun at it. Literally the same they, actor they poke, the I know. Same <laughs> they poke fun know. out of it. He, like, he pokes fun out of that. But he's very different the in the X-Men movies. That was the worst X-Men movie, though. Definitely. X-Men Origins Wolverine. Yeah. That's that is the movie. worst. Yeah. That game is sucks. so, so dumb. I hated the that game movie. sucks. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I think I played I, the demo for that, <laughs> and it was really bad. I played a Wolverine X-Men game on the Game Boy Advance. I did, too. Did we have the same game, Cameron? I Probably. played it on PS3. Did your brother-in-law steal your Game Boy, sell it, and uh, no. use the money for prostitutes? But my stepdad did, probably. Oh, all that same stuff? Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know the prostitutes part, but no. he did steal the At Game Boy Advance. blow. That's, he doesn't know that. He doesn't know if he sniffed it out of a crack or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gross. Probably the belly button. Yeah, a little safer. I see yeah. your hand, your arms are all scarred up there, Schweiss. Yeah, my wrist is like swollen and creaky and shit, too. Yeah, how's that going? Uh, painfully, but, you know, I'm making a lot of money, theoretically. I haven't got paid yet, but... <laughs> Are you making... Oh, you're, How much are you making it per thing? Or are you per hour. Per hour, okay. Yeah. All right. And it's like 1670 before 6 o'clock, and then after 6 p.m. it's 1780-ish an hour. Oh, shoot. I got the wrong... <laughs> yeah, I got the wrong, wrong company, company buddy. Gig. <laughs> you need the one that doesn't know how to make money. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know you're in good hands. <laughs> 40 million under last year. Perfect for me. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Um... Rampage trailer. Let's do that before we do the CEA thing. I, All right. We got a new video game movie uh, coming, and uh, we were notified of its trailer. So we have to decide, is this thing going to be good, or is it going to be a piece of crap? Well, you and I are the only ones who haven't seen it before. No. Did, seen he hasn't seen it either. Oh, he was watching it. Well, it was up, but he wasn't really watching it. Okay. All right, let's do it. Oh, Rampage, let's get her reaction. <laughs> let's get somebody else's <laughs> reaction. It's weird. You like hang out with animals more than people. It's an ape. Yeah, well, animals get me. <laughs> A rescue George when he was two years old. Well, at least they George get the same one ape. Survived on his own. He definitely trusts you. Dude. Which one's the rock? Last night, <laughs> I know it's confusing. Cause it's really like muscly. there's there's Dwayne Johnson and then there's the Rock Johnson. You're missing you're missing the the crux of the whole story right now. George, you okay, buddy? You're scared. It's okay. This morning he's nine feet it. pushing a thousand. War. What's planet. happening to my friends? <laughs> Are you familiar with genetic editing? Oh God, Genes genetic editing. <laughs> The technical term is genetic. Is he the only one? Oh, you didn't know about the 30-foot wolf? Wolf! Oh, God. From the director of... No. Oh, yes! Yeah. <laughs> it's really just The Rock. That's his director pen name. Having George on that plane, it's a big mistake. <laughs> I think we'll be all right. I made a joke to Cameron. I was like, is it another San Andreas? Like, is it a sequel? You know that joke about uh, not or being okay with having uh, a giant creature on an aircraft it was made in the Avengers already. It's coming back to me. It's coming back. Oh, 
dig this you magic have to pumpkin song. <laughs> George didn't ask for this. They're going to put him down. It's like a third of their good uh, songs right here. <laughs> Wait for it, guys. Wait for it. George! I'm just waiting for the gorilla to ride the wolf into battle. Is there something in the river? Godzilla, it even made the noise, the sort of. It's missing right now is a giant crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a crocodile. You know Fucking what? Fucking hell. I kind of want to see it. <laughs> of course you do. You do the I, fucking kaiju uh, podcast. Honestly, whatever it's I'm called. going to have to see it because of kaiju's. I love giant monster movies, dude. And I know they're retarded, okay? Like 99% of them are bad. But it's still fun to see some giant monsters. And The Rock is... It doesn't matter how bad the movie he is in. Except I haven't seen Scorpion King. So have you seen Baywatch? But uh, I want to. I want to see watch. But he is insanely watchable. I watched San Andreas, and the movie sucked, but I enjoyed my time. And a huge part of that was Dwayne Johnson. It was a huge Dwayne part Johnson of Dwayne Johnson or The Rock is Johnson? He, Dwayne the Johnson Johnson. Is he, <laughs> is he the Nick Cage that is in, like, okay... Nick so my, Cage is not always enjoyable. No, no, no. I think he is. I think he is in a different way, though. I think The Rock takes movies that are like in the forty-ish range, forty percent range for Rotten Tomatoes, and Nick Cage takes zero to one hundred. So I think The Rock is a little safer with his uh, with his bet. So I think Rampage. I'm going to make an wait, early wait. guess. Is going to be like Nick a forty percent movie. Nick Cage has never had a one hundred percent movie. <laughs> you don't know. Let's that. Let's be clear about this <laughs> right now. He's been in some great movies. He has been in some. I great think movies. his top movie is like eighty three. Most I <laughs> I think uh, I don't that. believe in judging the world based on Rotten Tomatoes. Although I don't either. It is but... fun to look up scores. Uh, Raising Arizona is a great movie, and that's a hundred movie in my mind. Okay, <laughs> to me, to me. Raising Arizona is fantastic. And you know what? I gave Face Off five out of five stars. I did too, so fuck you. <laughs> face you know off. what the best part about Face Off face is? Off everything is? Everything is the best part about Face it's Off. It's him being, or it's him pretending to be uh, the <laughs> other guy John in his Travolta. body. That's yeah. the best part of Face Off. <laughs> him pretending to be John Travolta's just, character. <laughs> well, no, that's second to the awesome boat chase. That's <laughs> with the fucking a boat spear gun. goes through another boat, and I had an orgasm watching <laughs> that movie, okay? All right? Face Off is the most awesome movie ever. <laughs> Oh, I man. will not take it back. I love that movie. I don't care how stupid the science is in that movie or how over the top the acting is. That movie is still great. I totally want to see Rampage. <laughs> and it's because of Dwayne Johnson. Did anybody else see San Andreas? No, I haven't actually no. seen it. I know it's okay. on HBO, or it was, but I was like, right. there is not a, watching that. Well, there's a girl in there with huge, huge tracts of land, <laughs> which is pretty enjoyable and then rock Dwayne the rock johnson is also just very enjoyable to watch and paul giamatti is in there as well um totally i it's not a good movie but it is a fun little dumb watch yeah i loved him in that uh what was that movie the you know i feel kind of the same about same way about will smith um if will smith is in a movie despite how bad the movie may be like i will still kind of enjoy it i think that kind of describes hancock I enjoyed, yeah, I enjoyed Hancock, and it was because of Will Smith. <laughs> yeah. And I enjoyed Hitch, and it was because of Will Smith. I think you should watch. I think Will Smith is just Will Smith. I enjoyed no Men in Black, too, and was, it was uh, because of Will Smith. What, what were your feelings on Pursuit of Happiness? I love Pursuit of Happiness. I think that's Did you cry movie. at the end of it? I don't remember. You probably cried. <laughs> you got a problem you're with me crying? Bitch. Hey, you're a little bitch. You probably cried. You got a you problem with me bitch. crying and being open to my emotions when I'm watching cried. Movie? Yes. Cry, hey. cry. Oh, man. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think Will Smith has a similar... Uh, I think you should watch dude, Suicide Squad and then tell me that again. Suicide Squad, it is bad. You know, <laughs> Will probably, Smith is incapable of not being Will Smith. Probably the only He's part that was enjoyable about Suicide Squad is Will Smith. No, no, it's Margot Robbie's ass. Uh, that too. Yeah. But that, that one slow-mo shot. Of her putting her shirt on. Oh, yeah. That, that was another a slow-mo shot of her putting her shirt on. Oh, yeah. On. It, yeah. It, it sexualizes <laughs> it's almost the as awesome as her. her taking it off. 
Yeah, dude. It, she, Somehow. Well, we saw her like fully naked. In case anyone wants to see Margot Robbie fully naked, Wolf of Wall Street. It's amazing. It is. Also, the movie's movie. really good. If you have no moral compass. Oh, yeah. Wendy <laughs> once says After Earth for uh, Will Smith. I've never seen After Earth. No. I, I haven't seen either. it. Yeah, none of us. Yeah. It's because we know it's shit, so we don't want to watch it. That may be part of it. And then his new fucking series on Netflix coming. Oh, out, so. Jeff Goldblum. Okay. Mm, Jeff yeah. Goldblum can be in a bad movie, like Man of the Year. <laughs> And I can watch it and really enjoy Jeff Goldblum. I think. Oh well, uh, yeah, you just you're just enjoying Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, you're not enjoying the movie. Yeah, though. that's what I'm saying. I'm saying I can watch San Andreas, I, and I can watch Rampage. And even if the movie is bad, which it probably will be bad, I can, I'm not going to disagree with you. You're going to like Jeff Goldblum and Thor. It, it, um, it, that that role really plays to his uh, acting style. So. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Was he in the first Thor? No, no. Oh, because I was like, that's the only one I've seen. I'm like, geez, I didn't know Thor Jeff Ragnarok. Goldblum was Paul, part of the fucking universe. <laughs> like, yeah, dude, everybody he's, else is. He's Odin, but... dude. Yeah, I can yeah. say <laughs> Jeff Goldblum. Uh, totally enjoy Jeff Goldblum in a movie. I don't know. The movie doesn't even need that to be That would be good. an awesome, like, ADD <laughs> Thor. Like, uh, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> have you seen Thor Ragnarok yet? No, I haven't. Dude, just uh, yeah, Thor. The, uh, no, his, his role in that movie plays exactly <laughs> what you're describing right now thor thor i'm gonna need you to uh i'm gonna need you to go uh, the, the 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 uh, lord the lord <laughs> of lightning <laughs> is he not the, the lord of, of, of watchable uh he is yeah. jeff goldblum i would insanely say insanely watchable he's one of those people that i will watch the movie i think all of the <laughs> the one and a half star maybe half star i gave independence day dude resurgence was because of him <laughs> there's nothing else that, that showed was the so league bad. was already super funny and then when he was oh. in like that one episode playing that dude's dad oh it's fantastic he takes the league to another league oh really <laughs> i never finished watching that thing oh. whose dad is he Ra- uh rux ruxin yeah ruxin roxo ruxin oh, whatever nice. they call him <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the jew guy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the perfect casting for his father. Too. Yeah, it is amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. All right, we should talk about games. Oh, we I should. would say one quarter star in that movie, uh, in Independence Day Surgeons for Jeff Goldblum, and then one quarter of a star for the portrait of Will Smith. <laughs> for the portrait yeah. of Will Smith. <laughs> in memory of him dying. Yeah. <laughs> I watched the first 20 minutes. <laughs> so dumb. Uh, the, 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 it looks the, like they the, shot that on the set of Independence Day. Yeah. Why, yeah. why, why isn't uh, Will Smith in this movie? Oh, he, he died. That's why he is in the movie. He was training and he died. Oh, man. <laughs> and, and all you see is being the portrait. best pilot in the world or yeah, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that movie was just a heaping pile I'm of gonna shit. I'm going to have to watch it. I'm going to have to oh, continue man. it, I guess, at some point. Uh, yeah. It, there's some laughing out loud for sure. <laughs> all right. All right. EA. All right, yeah. So uh, EA has done this thing where everybody was really pissed off about them uh, putting in microtransactions into uh, into Battlefront Two. But not only was it just uh, microtransactions, it was uh, a pay to win. Um, so let's be clear. Thing. Let's be clear about the pay to win. If you are an average gamer, there were progressions and star cards and stuff that you could unlock and, and basically buy. Um, but it only really assists you to be a little bit better than a um, average player. If you're going against a good player who doesn't have those buffs, they can still outmaneuver for you and, and kill you. Basically, in troop troop uh, fights. But the real unbalance was for starfighters, where you could turn faster, you could do all sorts of things just by paying for it. That actually gave you a huge advantage, and. That's the whole crux of the issue. And then they said, hey, you know, we're going to allow you to buy this, but you can only unlock it or, you know, get it as once you've reached a certain level in the game. Um, also, everything in this game to unlock costs a ton of in-game currency, and you earn in-game currency at a, such a slow rate, which is why unlocking heroes um, like Darth Vader or anyone else took 40-plus hours of gameplay because you needed each, to save enough character. currency to unlock one 
character and if you wanted vader after you unlock someone else that's another fucking 40 hours of gameplay which also made you want to buy more loot crates or you know those those boxes because you could turn duplicates into extra in-game currency so basically what they've created was this way to make you feel like you had to buy loot crates in order for them to for get money. any progression at yeah. all yes yeah. but now this is this is the first game coming out of dice coming out of ea that will not have a season pass all of the dlc is free 100% free to play. Probably and this is more. probably their way of trying to make money for making all the rest of the content of the game free. But because of how the the in-game system is much like gambling, the governments of China and Belgium have decided to take a look at this loot crate system to see whether or not they're going to ban it in their countries. Yeah, so lesser countries are too weak for it. Okay. Yeah. And then so Papa Disney gave EA a, a call and then shortly thereafter that call, they pulled the microtransactions out of Battlefront completely and said it may return later in a refined format. Okay. Yeah, and, and? okay, part of that really bugs the shit out of me because the whole transaction well, part doesn't. The microtransaction part of it was entirely EA's decision. They forced DICE to do it because they are their publisher. And then they made DICE apologize for having microtransactions in a pay-to-win format. Because EA forced them to. Yeah, well, we know DICE is innocent, so... No, yeah. it, but they made DICE apologize. Like, the CEO of DICE had to basically tweet out that he, uh, like the uh, an image saying that they... They apologize for creating a pay-to-win format, and the, they had to take it away. Look, man, if he wants to dance to their tune, they can. <laughs> he has to. Coming, like, they they're owned by EA. It's yeah, like they can't say. They no. have to do what EA says, and also Disney's a little to blame um, for them putting progression inside loot boxes. Because would you all agree having cosmetic type items available and even like experience boost items available in loot boxes is so that you can pay for, is that okay? Yeah, I don't care. Um, but Disney, nobody's forcing you to buy it. So yeah, whatever. but Disney, they're very anal about what they want their characters and items to look like in a video game. So they're not very open to giving out extra cosmetic items. So there really wasn't that much that they could put in a loot crate system to begin with. So how are they supposed to pay for their free DLC in the future? And will it remain free um, from going this moment forward? Because they're taking out this huge cash cow that they wanted to put in I'll the game. I'll tell you how they pay for it. You sell a couple million copies day one, and you pay for it. Huh. That's, well, what, that's what Grand Theft Auto games, did. Games are becoming so much more expensive. Grand Theft Auto 5 is make. still online. Grand Theft Auto 4 is still online. You make a game. You make it well. You honor what you've done. Keep the servers online, and people will keep playing it for years. And yeah, years. games are becoming as expensive as movies are. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to make. Um, and then the one way yeah. to offset the cost was They're trying to find they they ways. make a game and you buy it for sixty dollars because that's like the price that people are willing to pay for a new video game. Mm -hmm. um, and because games are slowly increasing costs as time goes on, that sixty dollars is not covering as much of the cost as it did before, which is why we're seeing a, a bigger push for downloading games instead of buying in-store physical copies because they have to pay less to make those physical copies and they have to pay less for putting it in stores to put their product in a, in a store. They don't have to pay for that shelf space anymore. And they're using some of that save cost towards the game, but that's still not covering 100% of their newer prices to keep their developers and everyone happy. So they've came up, came out with the DLC idea where you can buy more content for the game you love if you'd like but if you don't care to buy it you don't have to well but everyone's getting mad on so these first player games that you're splitting up the community do you guys have you problems that. with the microtransactions only it when it comes to like addiction problems like, uh, like I we, mean, we feel inclined to buy them do you like, as a player do you feel cheated that some people can buy things to I would get say perks in the if game? it's a <laughs> so there's a problem to me with um, having microtransactions be a pay to win format for instance one of the reasons that um, the new Deus Ex game didn't do so well was yeah, I know you're going to make the fucking joke Joe <laughs> don't uh, you fucking make it <laughs> don't you fucking do it all right. So anyway, hey, the, the reason that it didn't do so well was because um, well, the night six, they, <laughs> because quadrupled it. 
Because they had put in microtransactions for the game for uh, Praxis kits, which, uh, Schweiss, you played the first Deus Ex, right? Yeah. So you remember how the Praxis points are the things that you use to purchase your abilities. And yeah, yeah. B- yeah, so basically... You can buy every ability by the end. Basically, yeah. you can buy those now with the oh. microtransactions. Okay. And so it created a thing where you could just start the game and have pre- basically every ability from the game. Yeah, but it's a single player game, isn't it? It's a single player well, game. Well, it gives a shit then. And <laughs> that's kind of the point is like it it's it makes it so you can just basically pay and then beat the game even faster. And there's no there's no satisfaction out of it for people who just like do that. And, and it like and it sort of when it's a single player just, game, I just don't see that big. There, big yeah, of an there's issue. there's really no point to putting in the yeah. microtransactions. Well, I in also the first don't see place. a problem with it. I mean, you're not going to be like oh, that game was too easy. You're like, oh well, why was it so easy? Well, I just I dropped another twenty bucks and bought all my upgrades, and it was just it was just so easy. I'm like, well, yeah, it was easy. You fucking it's, bought it <laughs> to make it easy. It just kind of yeah. That one's more of well, a shooting yourself in the foot scenario. Yeah, that's more that's, of a I can't be trusted to not buy something. Well, it's kind and of like I'm going to blame you for having it available. They're having it. They it's it just seems like they're preying on the people who who what are too stupid to not buy. Exa- them? Yes, because there are a lot of people. Who well, are there stupid. there there is a study. Well, there is a study let's, that let's uh, be let's be completely clear here. There I, are a shitload of people who are stupid. I am. And no. They a big are fan. addicted to gambling. Yes. and they are. And that's I a huge. That's a huge point of this, the whole microtransaction. I'm a huge thing. fan of survival of the most. Fittest. Most of the money and that I feel like those that buy those <laughs> put themselves into that position and that is neo darwinist yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no no if that's, you can't that's make actually it, you that's can't actually make it man part of why certain countries are looking into banning the microtransactions because it plays off of people's addictive tendencies yeah, to, yeah. to buy into it they're you know the whales of it, the gambling industry they're gonna dump a ton of money into something to get what good it stuff. is is uh, a loot box you like have a i guess it like triggers the same like reaction as like when you make a gamble because like you get the loot box and you open it up and you get like a random item and it like it like gives yeah, but you, you the are same. actually buying something it's no not, that's that's it's why it's going that's, to randomly be nothing that's right. why they're justifying it because but, they're saying you get something every I time they're right no, i no, think no, they no, are no, too no. technically no when, when it's a normal cosmetic item type thing yes but when it comes to actually getting items that affects your gameplay in a positive way then you're not guaranteed to get something like that every time Whoa. that's when it starts to become a gambling but you can get these items without the loot uh, yeah. it, it depends on the game through tons and tons of time so, of grinding and if you wanted to unlock a hero character you can't actually buy the loot boxes because you're saving your in-game credits 40 hours worth of in-game credits in order to unlock a hero yeah and now it's honestly i don't think there's anything actually that wrong with this anyways uh, as a player you are deciding to buy that stuff if you want to put but no but they're deciding they're deciding as a player they're they're buying something that gives them an advantage over other players who are deciding just to play the game i disagree no you can't disagree because that is the truth battlefront with battlefront 2 you can actually buy items out of a loot box that that makes you you faster have more health turn turn around faster star things naturally through the game if you play it a lot only if through you don't want to unlock a, a hero character load of play i yes. think the idea is that but here's the thing what this is this is my counter argument for that is that the person who has to work their way up through the ranks as it were for hours and hours to get those same boosts is going to be the better player Right, so there's this is the dichotomy here. Once, if you are a, an average or a bad player, and you buy these boosts, you're still not going to be as good as a good player. Right. But the real disadvantage so comes when you are facing unfair. someone who is a good player or just as good as you, and they have these advantages, they will beat you. It's when you're on the same level they as someone. They have better internet, too, and they'll beat you. No, so this is why it's a pay-to-win scenario. You are buying something that gives you a definite advantage over someone else who did not buy it. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I. Um, it does bother me in a way, but I mean, it's just like it's just like picking up an old game that has a multiplayer component. Like when I played The Last of Us Remastered. Yeah, but that's just skill, though. No, it isn't skill. It's they've played oh, it for seven hundred hours. Yeah, Last of Us Remastered. You, there is a definite. If you have played it for a long enough time, 
anyone who just joins will be fucked by you. I was able to complete it and get all the trophies for online. That's just because I'm good at the game. Caleb, unfortunately, not so hot. Yeah, no, but I'm not the, at, 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 at the outset of a game, when you are first playing it and everyone else is first playing it, there are certain people who, who dumped a ton of money in the game will have definite advantages over people who don't. And that's just a fact. Yeah, but if it makes it, if it doesn't make it unplayable, then it's not a problem. Yeah, it doesn't make it unplayable. And I think that some people are blowing it out of proportion because if you're a good player, you're still a good player. But the fact remains, if you're fighting someone who's basically saying, same skill level as you and they have extra boosts like extra health they're gonna win they're yeah, gonna win that fight that's true um one thing i will say is i hate it i dislike it just about as much as i dislike what caleb told me they did with destiny 2 which is kind of the same thing where in destiny 1 you would get a weapon and you would um when you would go online to play it wouldn't be that weapon it would just be that weapon type so, like, everyone had the equal amount of weapons. So, like, it would almost be like Halo, where everyone's SMGs. Oh, same. well, everyone's it's when you go, it's when you, when you go online, yeah, there's certain character, characteristics of a weapon that are more effective than others, but the actual special damage output doesn't really apply. But when it you're does doing in Destiny 2. No, it doesn't. That's what Caleb told there, me. There is a game mode that allows for levels and yeah, so weapons stuff mode. That's to fine. matter, but the games, uh, the weapons damages will be the same i mean oh, they're oh, okay. through, yeah through the, 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 the weapon damage is the same it's although there are certain weapons abilities, that are so better than others to use well, in, yeah. in because you have a certain rate of fire but it just and depends a on your style effect but it just, just depends on your style but effectively the weapon levels really don't matter that much oh see caleb i thought yeah. you told me the opposite i thought when i was talking to you about it that it was uh whatever weapons you earn during the game you use online and it makes that advantage and i was like it, how are more people not is, shitting themselves there to an extent, advantage yes. In a extent, way, yes. but but it's only if it's like a special weapon. I don't know if like it's the same powers. thing right now, but um, Uriel's gift was like the champion of online. If you didn't have it, you got killed by it a lot. Um, and that's because the weapon has a decent rate of fire and it has a, an effect that makes the other player jerk around more when you get hit with the first few bullets. And that f- extra second and a half or half a second really does make a difference. Okay. But other than that, no, it doesn't really... The weapon you bring in is fine. Okay. Because then it can just be a skill versus... It's mo- it's unlocking. somewhat weapons, but somewhat skill, but it's a balance of each, yeah. On the... I mean, I, I can only think of, like, Call of Duty 3 right now, <laughs> but and I know that's an old game at this point. Um, but I remember, like, being pissed off. They're like, oh, I haven't unlocked all these weapons. And they have. And so they have an advantage. But honestly, if I'm a new player... It's different, though. I'm still... It's uh, no to me. The it's time about the to same. okay. So the, the, time the time to unlock the, different. the time to unlock those I was still a lot have to faster than what it would have been for things. Yeah, but like you're not at a serious two. disadvantage from using other weapons. I think the I think the true problem here is that we have. I think microtransactions are a product of the time that we live in. Yeah. We live in a, a society where we all want what we want right when we want it i mean if you look at free-to-play mobile games they really fucking hit in that microtransaction market and ea is looking at it hey look how profitable profitable it is like clash of clans and stuff like that they're getting they're getting super bowl ad spots because of the amount of money they're raking in off of this gambling tendency and so ea seeing that saying hey this is a great way to start paying for the game makes a lot of money we're gonna throw that in well ea is just the devil i don't think it's so much the gambling aspect as it is the everyone's desire to just get whatever they want instantly and i think it just gets worse the the longer we live um, because of technology and how things are available to us like information even 20 years ago wasn't nearly as available as it is now i mean internet internet is being considered a utility we have all of these things at the tips of our fingers and i think I think microtransactions are a product of the times. It and is, I, think I agree. The times so, are a product of the microtransactions. In a so, way. so the microtransactions aren't necessarily, I think, that most players have a problem with. I think what it is is mostly how most companies are going about it. Well, I, I Because think, things like... Uh, once you start putting Blizzard, progression items in a microtransaction. Yeah, Blizzard's yeah. microtransactions for like its loot boxes in Overwatch is fine because you can steadily earn those loot boxes and yeah. then they have ways for you to earn loot boxes yeah, but outside who of Who is that. it up to to decide but, what rate is acceptable for well, loot boxes? It's just, they made it's the just game, every like, time you level up and then like every... And then 
uh, there's like sideways to do it, but like it's for, but for things like, um, uh, like Shadow of War, for instance, also has a shitload of microtransactions. Yeah, I don't think those are as bad, though. It's not as bad, but it seems like a lot of people uh, dislike it because it's specifically meant for a part of the game where the difficulty spikes for a reason. And it's because they're trying to get people to purchase the things for that. And see, I don't think so. And you haven't reached that no, part of the game, okay. so your twice, opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> twice. <laughs> what you're saying is that because you did it, other people aren't going to do it. And that's wrong. Other people are going to do it because they see the spike in difficulty, and they're going to buy the the things for the microtransactions. You can buy them in with the in-game currency. Yes, I'm aware. Are you? Yes, because I have done it. I know that you can do that. And, and what happened? Were they the same level as you? Yeah, they were yeah, the exactly. same level. But so you can't just is, buy your way out of it. You have to actually level up. You, you have, have to the actually thing is the, play the, the game stuff, to the beat stuff. the game. It's a crazy but idea. If, yeah, I know. Yeah, but but if I you, know. The, the fucking orcs that you already have are going to be below your level yeah. because you're getting the stuff from the stuff that's around so you. I, I yeah, so I if you purchase the stuff, they're all going to be at your level. Yeah. So it's going to be immediately stronger so then you can level up faster if all your stuff is the same yeah, level the, as in, you. In the game, you have to, you're trying to find epic orcs you're trying to find legendary orcs that you can then train up to be to your level before you assault this does take all that part of the grind out of the picture because you buy them it's a legendary orc yeah, at your it's level. basically to get rid of the stuff that's lesser than yourself and then you get stronger you know and what, then you do it more and you more you know what and more. the other way about it is you know, when you when okay when it gets late game all of the enemy orcs are high level so what you do is you go attack them and you recruit them and you put them in your fucking fort and have them defend it. You don't keep your level 17 guy against a <laughs> level 60 guy because he's going to get fucking one shot. You go out, you take a couple seconds, you grab those orcs. A couple and you bring seconds. Them in. You whoop it's their so ass as and, you, uh, and you bring them on. It's, I mean, I, I don't see the, I don't see it. If when it's just you're playing the campaign mode, yeah, go ahead and make it easier for you. I don't care. But problem. it's when it's multiplayer and you're buying better people, then that's, I don't like. Yeah, it, that, that is unfair. It's, yeah, it's just, there's, it seems almost like it's a uh, it's shady business practices, and I think that's most of what people dislike. But see, the problem is, but people is we are get, always going to complain about anything. Yeah, we get all these people that are like, I don't know, these weird quasi socialists that just want all of the game's features to be unlocked without having to earn it. They're like, I've dropped sixty bucks. I well, have all of the heroes on well, day one. It's like, oh, well, look at so it. you bought it, so you should then decide how the game progresses within uh, within itself. Like let's, you're not the director of the game; you're just the fucking consumer. But let's let's take a look at, at this and example. You can choose to buy the game or not. Exactly. Um, a big just part of it. most multiplayer games at this point is buying extra maps as a DLC, right? You can spin a few more bucks, have a few new more more maps, and have fun. The only problem is, is that now, as a developer, when you do that, you're splitting your gamer community between those who have the new maps and then those who don't, and it's making it less fun for those who didn't buy the maps, and less fun for those who did. Because after the newness of those maps wear away, you could, it's harder to find other people willing to play on those new maps because most of the majority of the player base is on the original maps. So that's why Battlefront 2 is moving towards this no season pass thing where all the new maps are free to play. So the entire community who plays that game is all together, is all together and microtransactions are a way to make those people who would have like spent more money on the game can, can still do so to pay for the game. Now, I obviously don't know anything about the economics of making these games. But don't you have to spend a bunch of money to keep the game going and to keep putting yeah, all yeah. the extra content in? It's a, are they how much? Are, I guess they probably are making the a DLCs lot more used to be the answer for things. that. The DLC used to be a way for you to pay the, the your developer for more content because. At the rate video games are going right now, they have to be better. They have to look better. They need more development time. And that all costs more money now than it did back when the $60 price tag was decided on. And you can't charge more for a video game. $60 is where it's at. No, no one's going to want to pay more for that. Off, uh, and so the reports. problem is, is how does a developer, <laughs> how do you as a developer reach out to those who are willing to pay a little bit extra on the game, but not all at once? See, and that's I, DLC. Or see, microtransactions. Yeah, and people hate it on DLC 
anyway. But the, the stupid thing about that is they hate it on DLC, even though DLC has been around for a very long time, even if it wasn't exactly in the downloadable content I that it is. The because era. there's because yeah. like th- the earlier games had expansions like Starcraft and Diablo all had like expansion pa- like that packs that you yeah, could nobody buy. cried about those. and nobody They're gave like, a oh, we're fucking getting, shit. Like, Diablo it was, expansion. They were excited oh! that they could yeah, have they were, extra they were content. happy that they could have more stuff to play. And then and but the thing is the moment that re- pe- mm. most people got really pissed off about DLC was when there became a paywall behind it. So for instance there is some b- companies that were making games and then they would uh, hide certain things of the game that were already made and that they would put a paywall behind it. So you had to pay to access that right, part of stuff. Right, but they used to do that with video so, games as a whole. Remember that old console where it would like complete the chip line for a certain game and you'd have it? So the console had all of the games downloaded and you would plug the thing in and it would complete the circuit board for a specific game. Is that, is that cheating? Part, whatever. <laughs> is, that a, is that a DLC that you should cry about because they happen to put all of it on the game and you just don't have that unlocked until you put the extra The fact in? is they the put it thing? all in in the game and then you have to pay to access stuff that's already in the thing that you purchased yeah but at that that's point, fucking you're, bullshit but but that point, there's not time. there is not a way to say that is not but bullshit. at that point you're just arguing semantics you would no, have preferred because, them no listen you you so what you're saying is that, that because at that time there was no effective way to give you the extra downloadable content so they give it to you already and you can only play it no if you pay more money. no it's Caleb the thing is you would rather when it comes out they gave you this they put a paywall behind it immediately he's saying even though would, everything is already finished so you're saying that you would rather them just Day one, you have a DLC pack that you can buy rather than character is in the game, but you have to buy to unlock them. I would rather them have DLC made later. That's the difference. Okay. They put it all okay. in there at once and then put a paywall I'm fine with it. them developing what DLC that they you They develop can the later. DLC with a smaller team usually, and then that team publishes the thing that people can buy later on. That is the thing that is okay. Because then it's usually something that's a, a big DLC. It's not something that's just like a way. little cosmetic DLC that they have to spend a dollar on or whatever. It's like a huge thing. But for people to basically put a paywall of something that's already within the game, like certain characters, and then they're just like, well, you have to spend like five bucks to access this character that's already on the thing. So that's you, fucking bullshit. Would you have rather them just not put the character in the game at all? I uh, yeah, I would rather well, see, them that's just where not I don't put the character that like cuz it's basically like saying we already made this for you and we're giving it to you but you can't have it unless you pay more. Well then just pretend they didn't give it make it at all. Yeah. Who cares? Uh, <laughs> I just see that as an effective way for you to have it immediately after you pay for it. It's just already there, ready that's, for you to yeah, use. Yeah, that's the whole... I mean, I certainly do miss the days of a complete game being put out. Right. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. exactly what it is. <laughs> like, it's it's giving uh, you the complete game, and then it's cutting holes in it. Well, if, and it, if it's like the last the few the levels are of a game are gone, unless you pay for the last few levels, like that PGA Golf Tour. Yeah, yeah. That That's a, a shitty move. But if it's like extra content that extra doesn't really stuff, matter yeah, at that the end of the game... doesn't matter... I'm totally cool with it. I guess the multiplayer part I can understand to a point. I think it should be probably closer to Call of Duty's speed level because you can get that stuff. Like you can get the rapid fire relatively quickly, with just a few hours of game. It's not forty hours of gameplay no. or whatever you were saying to, yeah, to get Darth it's Vader. Crazy. Yeah. And then forty hours to for Certainly, another character. I think so. there is a balance, and they would piss less people off if it was easier to get that or if they and their easier way was to pay buy yeah. a dlc to get all the stuff yeah and i'd say the big difference between this and cod is that in cod like i'm really good with rifles um like single shot rifles yeah. and someone could be really good with machine guns and we could both be able to kill each other yeah with but, this you're a superhero and you can't be killed <laughs> like it's a little different it's not oh well, i'm really proficient but with this even gun. though if you yeah. unlock a superhero you have to like still play a game, game and do do good at yeah. the game until you can lock it no they made a beautiful game they just tarnished they it made with, a game that wasn't very balanced no. as far as your characters and stuff no so no they made so if you, if you take a stock 
stock enemies against each other, the game is balanced. What unbalances it is the progression system where some people will forever grind to get better, whereas others can be better immediately. And that's what throws off the balance. I would argue that the people who do the grinding though are definitely gonna be better. They're they have to be there. better they're going skill, to be, but how do you compete against someone who but people is who skilled have skill but has can, more health? People who have skill yeah, can also buy to get ahead. You that's the things. difference too. No, this is it's, hurting you're, the you're, player base. You're people are not gonna want to play based off of people this. who are it, good are only just going to continue to play to unlock EA's stuff. Interest they're, to they're locking out the casual. They're games. locking out a large part of casual. But gamers. I don't think any freaking Belgian BS government <laughs> should get involved. in No, this. no, no. So Belgium's like they Players, don't want gambling. If they don't want to pay for it. Don't pay for the game. Return it. No, but see if you have certain laws against gambling in your country, and then something that looks like it's gambling not a gamble, comes in. Though, if you always get something, no, you always get you something, but you're not getting the thing that you want to get. That's not a gamble. It's, it is though. No, you yes, are getting the thing you want to gambling. get. You want to get a loot box, a and you want it to it's, have a certain thing. Are you saying there's a possibility of not getting? anything for the amount of money that you yeah put down. this uh, okay so you what you're saying right now is that Basically, i want if you buy a, if you buy a pack of jelly beans or a pack of freaking starbursts it's not the going same to have thing different flavors it is the same it is thing. not the same thing. it is exactly the same thing no. if i want to buy a pack of magic cards it's a, or so a let's say let's say the only thing that makes you are it the same still thing, getting starbursts the only thing that's this still the same thing is if there's a chance of one of those starbursts actually having gold in it no no then no. that's I gambling. also not against no, here, gambling listen, listen, so this listen. is a real rough argument <laughs> But if certain I, countries are. Certain you're, what countries you're saying are right now is that it's a gamble because I go into a, ma- a magic store or a, a Yu-Gi-Oh store and I want to buy a I want a blue eyes blue dragon or blo- white dragon whatever blue the eyes fuck white dragon yeah and I buy a booster pack and I don't get it is yeah. that gambling no um, it don't because I still got Yu-Gi-Oh fucking Oh cards packs and magic packs totally are gambling if you're calling that gambling if you're yeah. calling I want this boost and I didn't get you it are, so it's a gamble you will get something yeah but there's no guarantee of what you will get even yeah and you're buying it for the same amount every yes, time yes but but you're him, looking at you're looking gambling. at the wrong way because you have to take the other players into consideration. You can go and buy and keep buying and buying and buying until you finally get the card you want. But there isn't another portion of the community that's not buying that they're just grinding for cards that doesn't exist in that in your example in this world where you can just play the game. And Yu-Gi-Oh totally does exist if you keep buying packs. That's all you can Everyone do Everyone in Yu-Gi-Oh is buying packs. Yeah. Everyone is buying packs, which is the difference between so this it, and card So you games. have a problem with the people who are grinding levels then? But then no, I don't. Are, <laughs> then there are going to be people who will just straight up buy the card they want. Yes, and th- that's fine because everyone in is that Yu-Gi-Oh available is in this game? Cards. Can you no. just buy Vader? No, you have to, you have to keep well, purchasing stuff for that's it. That's a bad thing for EA. Yes. That's he, the point. Have, that's I would say they, you can buy was, Vader for 20 bucks. Or you can have a chance of buying Vader. You can have a chance of buying Vader for five. No, no, no. So the, the, EA, I'm trying to make you some money here. And that no one would fucking <laughs> ever go for that. That'd be dude. Bullshit. They would, and they would cry that they were victimized. That yeah. they had to do it. <laughs> Come on. And see, though, that whole example, it, yeah, that's gambling in a way, but the whole fucking community is doing that for Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic. In this game where the, you finally have your mom or dad buy you this Battlefront game and you're done. You can't put anything more into it. Now, you're enjoying it, but you don't have the funds to progress as fast as other people are progressing. Think, and that's the whole crux of the issue. I think no, those who buy... shouldn't be buying you a rated M game if you're not allowed <laughs> to purchase. I don't think Battlefront's rated M. I think it is. Really? For what? I don't. We I don't, don't know remember. if it is. But so anyways, we we've, we've argued about how this is kind of dumb. But how can they make more money? They're making everything else free to play. Okay. on the game. So how can a developer start to DLCs. bring in costs? And actual DLCs. Let me bring up one thing before right. we go into that. If I I have the list of most expensive video games pulled up right here. Yeah, and. Uh, the top 10 only has one game in the last three years, and it's Destiny. Is that with, like, inflation and shit? Um, yeah. Inflation. With adjusted, Total cost inflation. Adjusted yeah. for it's... inflation. Grand Theft Auto five, two $272 million second place. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, 2009, $279 million. These aren't... Most of those are production costs. Yeah. 
these uh well 200 million for um yeah production costs marketing. on of course call of duty they're still using okay, the quake so, engine on those games <laughs> so they have the development costs yeah, and then the marketing cost there engine. and the marketing cost is way bigger yeah yeah marketing cost is always huge though for any type of huge media so i don't buy the uh games are getting that much more expensive to make they are, but then you and also there have well, they point. are because there's also a fuckload of marketing. There was a certain point with AAA titles. It was like right when the PS3 era hit that everything skyrocketed. But then you also have to know that they're saving there, money there on, were not, on digital downloads games before then. But like FF10 was 23 million. And yeah, like, that's nothing. That was a huge primo AAA title seven was too games 16. Are, yeah, but yeah yeah they spent less money on 10 than they did on seven which is crazy i mean i think they're saving tons of cost of pushing digital instead of a physical medium i think yeah they are going to make more profit with digital because there's because yeah. they, they already have the content they don't have to shelf yeah. it you just go to them and download you don't straight. have to pay for the distribution costs of yeah. the actual physical yeah. i think part of why the de- the costs are getting so ridiculous is because every single developer and pusher uh, publisher is pushing to uh, release AAA titles instead of like uh, releasing even double A titles or like uh, it's just, becoming a, li- just a little game until yeah until until they between like the time to allow them to spend time to publish the really big game I think it was that they want like think- they're not giving it the development time that it needs or like hyping it enough to just let it sell on its own because I mean look at the uh, fucking Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild that thing fucking sold more than switch consoles for the switch yeah well that's because like, they sucked at making out- switches available well I but- know but it also the game itself People were buying it before they had a Switch, which means that like it is a massive title that everyone was waiting for. It, it's a big deal, whereas like everybody's pushing out, hey, let's make the next Call of Duty, and they're making it uh, one every single year. It's that's part of the problem. They they're making like they have three companies that they're paying a massive amount to to make a Call of Duty every single year. Craig, whereas like. Like uh, Nintendo spends their time, they hype the shit out of their like high quality game, and everybody buys it. Is well, it Nintendo the one who's worse off financially as far as yeah, the three bits? Uh, because Nintendo, of, okay, fucked Nintendo, everybody that bought okay, a Wii U. So okay. I don't know if I want to <laughs> uh, listen to this much. No, more. no, no. So the thing is, Nintendo has a problem with their console stuff, their hardware. What they're good at is software. They're good at well, making games. You can't, we're, we're, games on, we're saying that, but the Switch is a huge deal now. The Switch is a huge well, deal, is, and so is the Wii. The Wii didn't. was a huge deal as well. Yeah, and yeah. their handheld consoles are good, but they 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 have a problem with their hardware usually. Uh, but they're really good at making software, and their games are always <laughs> big deals, and they I, always hold their value. You can go out and look I, for like a Mario Party right now, and it'll still yeah. be like forty dollars. GameCube version of uh, Metal Gear Solid, retardedly expensive. Yeah, exactly. They made like ten it's of them. Because, I swear. It's because they're like big deal games. No, it's not because they're big deal. It's because they don't know how to make enough fucking copies of anything. That's why they're a big deal. <laughs> That's part of it. Uh, they're honestly Nintendo's mo- business model is a lot like Disney's business model, where everything fucking is scarcity. It's all it's rarefied air. So they they take out when they bring out a classic for whatever the new format is. They'll clean it up. They'll do a digital remaster. They've been doing this for 20 years. Yeah, and they make um, it. And they actually did it before when there wasn't VHS or whatever. They, they would re-release every seven years. They would re-release one of their classic movies. And then they would get a ton of money right then. And that would help like with their background. And that would keep yeah. their, their, uh, their stuff alive, their... Um, their products, you know, so that they could sell more toys. Yeah, my joke used to be whenever somebody dies in Disneyland, they they bring a movie back out. (laughs) Nintendo is the same way. I mean, they they put out Mario multiple times. Now they have the digital store because that's just how things went. But Nintendo's kind of the rarefied air thing. They're not going to let you buy Breath of the Wild again uh, for, like, another two consoles. (laughs) Like that that's a possibility if you're looking at what Nintendo has done up they, to this point. They did release it on Wii U. Yeah, it, it's on Wii U and it's kind of a slap because they were like, oh yeah, this is going to be... Is, well, they, uh, they is did Twilight Princess Twilight Princess is on, both on GameCube okay. and Wii. So Nintendo so. has changed, but... Uh, 
That's kind of what they they used to do. Nintendo was rarefied air. I think they did look. <laughs> yeah. at, they still I think kind they of did are. look at Disney's business model as. Oh, this is how you keep your stuff legendary. What about uh, Bethesda's business model? We could play Skyro on your fucking smart fridge no. next year. <laughs> <laughs> play, it play it on your smart toilet. <laughs> yeah, see, that's that's that the whole thing. My that toilet me paper me I think her. They're a, making it so you have to ba- buy, buy it every time. We're you don't, oh, yeah, you have to buy it. I have no, no choice no. but to buy okay, Skyrim Caleb, over Caleb and sitting over. On a, Caleb sitting on a mountain Victim of Skyrim. And he's no, like, no, look what you so, made me do. <laughs> <laughs> no, what, I, what I'm getting what I'm getting at is that like they re, they're releasing it again for PlayStation VR, and Look, instead of just enables. giving you the game because you already bought it on PS4, this, this you is have bad. to buy it again specifically for the VR part. This is bad PR for EA, and yeah. they're going to pay for it with the next game. They already have. Oh yeah, so they have most downloaded the Reddit field? comment ever. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I was about to say that they the uh, Dice did a Reddit comment like trying to explain what was going on, what they want to do, and it's the most downvoted comment or thread on Reddit. Wow, in ever. History it's like four hundred thousand. Here's the thing: the next <laughs> Battlefield game, uh, they're, they they will yeah. learn from their mistakes. And <laughs> they will going to release it on the so PS2. Look, this is good. People complaining about it is good. I don't think any legal action needs to be taken from any. No, no, no. Legal action to where they're just going to ban it from their country. About uh, they're you can't play about this game gambling in our country. or whatever. I think that's BS. But uh, yeah. honestly, I have a big problem with Belgium in that point. But the players, they say this is not fair enough. League of Legends, the way microtransactions work in there, sure, that's fair enough. People well, don't get really mad about League of Legends, that. that's because it's like only cosmetic stuff. No, it's not only cosmetic stuff at all. You can buy champs. You can buy you can buy champions. But they balance them. them earlier, but it's no, you they're can balanced, also buy and then they re- rotate you can also them out buy weekly. Runes. You could still use can you buy uh, runes? champions. No, no, you can't. You can't. You can no. buy rune pages. You can only buy runes with the stuff that you earn oh, in game. I thought you could. Buy you runes. can buy more pages, so you can have more customized pages right. for certain roles. I think it will also be a good idea to have a free DLC. That's the the Battlefront, um, like a like a game mode that has nothing that's see like, like before it was you you bought a season pass you get all the maps but like i said before you're splitting your player base yeah. and you have people start dropping Look, off people, what, that's what happened to battlefield this is capitalism one. though people are complaining they're not going to buy the next product unless they change their ways yeah so this is how they change their ways this is, this is, this is what they wanted to do with, with starfront too. it was, it was an to, experiment yeah. an experiment with making DLCs free for everyone who purchased the game. Yeah, but they got a they got a spot cost somehow. The, yeah, and the funny thing is, is like someone's coming up on there uh, on the Reddit page. I read another thread where he was talking about it. Like, oh, it's a business model, and like it I'm is. like, well, yeah, they're a business. And it will be like, adjusted. Like it, it, it's crazy. It's like they think, oh, make you don't money want your developers, your favorite developers, to make money to make more games. Yeah, so that's the problem. Is we have like two extremist sides to it. We've got the side of. Yeah, you know, we should buy um, buy all of it, get all of the money you can, and then, you know, get out. And then we have, everything should be free. I shouldn't have to work to unlock Vader, or I shouldn't have no, to no, play no, no, your no, no, game no. the way you the, the, want the me to play your not, game. The argument's not unlocking Vader. They just made unlocking certain things ridiculous no, with I, how much time you have I to unlock it. I think it is. I've that seen... That forces no, okay, you yeah. to yeah. then buy stuff if to it make was, it faster. They were, it definitely doesn't force you, because I know... How many hours did you put into Battlefront okay. 3? He didn't mean force. Lot, like he meant 50, to entice 60, 70. more. So it's almost predatory in that way, where they're like, hey, you have to you have to either play this game a shitload in order to get what you want, or you can get it now. Uh, for the amount of hours you, you put into you a game enough. to unlock something, you're already seeing players fall off. Because of the just the life of a game. I'm not disagreeing with that point. But they're making it easier for people who want to pay money to get the good things faster. And that's yeah. the whole crux of the issue. That's, well, that and if you have to grind for fucking ever in order to unlock anything. If everyone, and then the had, next if game everyone comes out, had to grind like, the exact same time, that'd be fine. But no, they don't. Yeah, and then you have to grind a fuckload and then the game, next game just comes out like as soon as you get the thing you want. You know, I, I, this saying that, uh, I don't know, it almost feels like the same as like arguing that fast food makes you fat to me. Like it's no, no one's you making make yourself you, fat. No one's making if you, you overeat it. it. Then, yeah, you get fat. It's not the fast food. It's you. 
It's you making yourself fat. You are the reason why you're buying. Well, yeah, you can't okay. sue McDonald's because you got fat. No, you kept see, the, going there. the whole argument is not from the people buying it. The people buying it are just fine with it. Of course, it's the people who don't want to buy it. Will are saying it's just an unfair advantage because it, it is. Then the more people that don't buy no, it, the less but see, likely they, they, do the it. people who are angry are, are the ones not buying it. Play. There are people who are not who it's are complaining people, about it. Yeah, it's the people getting fucked by the pay to win thing by not paying to win. Yes, are the ones complaining. They don't buy the game advantage. at all, is what I'm saying. Well, then that's prob- That's what a lot of people are Sit doing. On the sidelines. Yeah, a Say lot of people it. aren't even buying the Play game Battle because Field of the way that it's set up. Because it's a great game. No, not good Fuck for Battlefront. E- so not good for EA right, and Disney. And EA will adjust well, because you don't buy the damn game right so yeah don't everybody but they're trying if you to got say a problem with this microtransaction thing here's what you do don't buy the game yeah don't don't buy the game that's and what if people you are doing the game yes. under false pretenses return it to the GameStop because then the ea has to pay for that unit that comes back and is not sold so there you go yeah, that's what people are doing. Damn game. But the people want to play the game because it's a well-designed game with balance issues when Who it comes cares? to pay to play. These are the same people that steal games that they well, want to play. If and they EA feel adjusts like their thing, it wasn't released to their if country. EA adjusts it to a more, in your opinion, fair system, then buy it. That's the thing is we get into this gray area for, where people feel the right like thing. they're owed the game. And that's where it becomes an issue yeah, to me. It's, what is that? It's you owe me to make a game worth my $50 or $60. That's where they get crazy. It's not just, I'm not going to buy the game. It's, no, no, I'm not buying the game because you didn't make it the way I wanted you to make it. That's well, where I have a problem with the it's argument. It's kind of what they should be doing, though. Yeah. Because they're targeting you as a consumer. I feel like and if they don't make it to where the consumer wants I it, feel like then Craig nobody's going to fucking buy it. I feel like you at the head of a multi-billion dollar company would be a bad idea. And I think that's the... <laughs> I think that's the big problem I have. Because I would make games that people actually want to no, buy. No, because you would put uh, it in the hole. <laughs> I mean, you might make good games, but I any, would make fucking awesome games. Well, that's, that's where I run it's into a, problems. It's a balance is, of cost versus yeah, uh, entertainment. Philosophy. Yeah, but that's the that's the problem, though, is we have a lot of these people that that mention things that are like, oh, well, why don't they just do this with the game? It's like, well, you don't know why they don't just do that. You're not running their company. You're not part of it. It's, you don't know what internal things they have, and what their costs are, their overheads yeah. that they have to keep up. We have to put a game out in this month in order to recoup all this cost that we've already put in As a, and we, there's no way we can add more time into this game. We have to put it out by then. There are things like that because there is so much money involved. Yeah. And it's because they're trying and to push out just be so like, many AAA we're titles. We're going to go under because... You but know. what would you pose yeah. as a better way of doing that than microtransactions? Um, I mean, you can keep certain microtransactions in a game for cosmetics and stuff, but how how can a game make more money? I on, Well... What is a better I, way? I, like I said, you would have to know the economics of gaming. You would have to talk to the line producer or whatever the, 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 that job is for the gaming industry, the person who's managing all the accounts, to say, where is all the damn money going? Yeah, well, here's that the thing. Isn't well, necessary. According to the Wikipedia page, it's all in the marketing. Yeah, marketing is a well, lot. Well, marketing is, is just a given. You have to have so much marketing out there in order for a title. I think with with movies, I heard you have to have you have to pump thirty million dollars into a movie in order for most people to know that that movie even exists. That's yeah, do you remember, automatically thirty million. Do you remember cost. the marketing for uh, for um, Jurassic World? Like it was insane. Like that's the most costs, marketing I've ever seen in my life. Usually for <laughs> movies, how much the movie cost is how much they're going to spend on marketing. So that production budget, so you hear that Avatar costs $300 million to make. It also costs $300 million to advertise. Yeah, well, see, so it's really a $600 million movie that they have to recoup? It's, I don't know. It just and seems like they don't have to do as like, much for marketing now with like things no. like for... They have to do more. Marketing costs more than it ever did before. No, no. I mean, like for, for gaming at least because like... It's there's not there's, be really different for gaming there's things like Twitter be. and fucking Facebook and word those, of mouth that like go free. around yes. like those crazy. Help, those help and make it but those, even more those, money. To, but those you targets have to have you have to have a minimum amount of a crap load of money in yeah. order to even get. 
get so those it free out there mediums all. only target people who are already fans of that uh, developer. If that was true, then well, those then little but, tiny great indie games that everybody loves, like the Brother game, right? All we've heard is good word of mouth from that. It was not advertised hugely. Do you think that game has sold as much as it as fucking, Destiny did? It fucking gave them a bigger profit, probably because probably they didn't have to sh- shit a bigger, out a fuckload of a bigger profit costs. for how much they put in. Yes, but and, they're also not multi. They, they are not EA or Dice, which it's, are yeah. big yeah. companies. Yes, they but they also. Just, I don't. Fucking, Facebook has ads too, and so does Twitter. Facebook has ads. Yeah, yeah but you, you have to pay for those. For you do, but yeah. you. And that's what they do. Caleb, the market, not, marketing costs not, are going to be marketing costs. There's no way to get around marketing them. Marketing costs are yeah, always going to be You don't necessarily have to pay like millions of the dollars only, to put it on fucking TV because everybody has streaming services. You, you, you have get, to you actually pay Hulu. a premium uh, to get, get ad get spots a, on those streaming services. You don't actually, have to Caleb. be on those streaming services either. I mean, like you can get away with like a lesser cost for like radio and things like that. Yeah, but you have to target your target audience, which are you, online. You, do. you have to figure out where you're targeting target audience is and then you have to you have to put in cost in order to actually access your target audience because i'm just and your target audience is not just the twitter followers who follow ea okay well fucking personally that, for me i have not seen any marketing for pretty much anything outside of twitter and facebook because that's what, that's your mediums you watch. I watch fucking shitloads of TV. I what do, do even, lots of even TV on just like cable and fucking on You're, streaming services. Yeah. And I hardly ever ever see anything that's for video games. It's uh, always for other shows. You're right. But when Target TV was again. more of a big deal, do you remember ten years ago? There were a lot there were more TV, video games. There game were TV spots, TV spots yes, yes, I remember. Than there were but TVs, like actual TVs, not as big anymore. It's also well, that's not why big with I'm, their target audience anymore. Yes. That's why I'm wondering where like, how many the marketing is. Like, you, know? you, you see video game marketing. What is the marketing cost for fucking like radio and shit then? But, because, no, but like, their but target audience are not listening to radio. Your target <laughs> audience listening to radio. They're not. Yeah. What Nobody kind of listens music to is your target radio audience anymore. listening like, well, to? The easiest, the target audience right now is, is Twitch me, and YouTube. I'm seeing it on fucking on Twitter and, and Twitter. You have so to pay for it. You're on YouTube and you're not on AdBlock. How often? I can tell you how often I have seen a Final Fantasy 15 ad. Oh, yeah. Often. 15 <laughs> okay. was over so the top. They 15 know. was fucking every. Okay. They made All right. a fucking movie they to know. advertise this they thing. They know that <laughs> I have at one point or another searched Final Fantasy into my Google search bar. That adds a ping to the type of people who search Final Fantasy and I'm now in that pool. And so when I, in my IP address, am searching around on YouTube without ad block on, which is, uh, if I'm doing that, or if I'm on Facebook, suddenly I'm going to get a lot of Final Fantasy ads for the new Final Fantasy game all around. That's how they target it. And, and they have to pay that. out of the ass to do that. Final Fantasy has to pay Google a shit ton of money it to depends, do that. It depends on what your target audience is following. Some keyword searches, some websites cost more to advertise on than others. And it's cost per view and crap like that. So they put up so much money in order to get the views on their target audience on different platforms. Albeit mm-hmm. these advertising mediums do charge a fucking arm and a leg because they can. And because they are the medium people have to go way to. Way more to advertise than it used to. Plus, like Final Fantasy 13 and Grand Theft Auto 5 had like building And we are looking uh, for sponsors for Nude Clan. So if you want to reach out. <laughs> <laughs> we agree with the marketing. So if you want to reach out. They had a skyscraper like characters they they had these huge uh things that just had the characters and that's probably the, ch- the cheap part of advertising yeah to get those, those, those massive building size campus, banners uh building size <laughs> ads like probably cheaper than some of the other shit they've done yeah, yeah they they go nuts and that's why and like, i'm pretty sure like advertising at something like uh comic-con is through the roof too just because everyone wants to advertise to their target audience and that's where their target audience is at it is pretty expensive to do cons um I don't know about Comic Con because I haven't checked because I don't want to, but uh, <laughs> it's because it'd be sick. But um, yeah, Salt Lake one probably wouldn't be that bad. 
Yeah, probably not. Of course, they almost got sued. The fact of the matter is, Craig, I can understand that advertising sh- copyright for the name shouldn't cost as much as it does, but the fact Sandy remains doesn't that, own it, the name that it does cost, cost as much as it do does, it. and there's nothing you can really do about it. That's capitalism for you. Yeah. Um, I see word of mouth will, it does create a stronger fan base, word but I don't think it's as big. Helps. Word, word of, of mouth, mouth helps, can make yeah. it make more money than it does on initial release. But word of mouth and direct and, and Twitter, hey, we're doing this game. That's already the people who are going to buy the game anyway. It helps. It makes your game a little bit more longevity in how much money it makes. So Battlefield going to make a ton of money the first day it's released. All this negative PR, <laughs> its tail is going to dip way faster than it did with Battlefield, yeah. the first one. Yeah. It's it will and it will negatively affect their their money and then E and then Didn't Disney like the Disney got involved because they're like <laughs> that's what sucks. Right. Uh, as an example Man. and then yeah, Disney yeah. got involved with this just because it, uh, like we don't want all this negative PR right before our big movie release so <laughs> take microtransactions out for now Man. oh yeah they. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, they also, um, I think they didn't let them cover any of the prequel stuff in the first one. And I yeah. think that's the biggest down. They, they wouldn't let them do any prequel stuff, and they wouldn't let them do anything for the new movie that Is was that coming really out. Bad? They yeah. did do a map, though. They did do uh They did Jakku. let them do the map to promote it. Yeah. And that was it. But, and that was before the movie came out. Yeah. You could play on Jakku. Yeah. Um, Not the best we, map, but. Honestly, you know, we should try to talk to someone. If anybody is listening who's part of the video game industry and understands um, the accounting part of the video game industry we'd love to talk to you yeah, it's so an understanding to us on, uh, on uh, they need to make money yeah. and how do you make money from people who you already know, purchased your product one thing one thing i, I will know say, the movie part of accounting but i don't know video games one thing i will say like when i played dead space one um you've got these extra suits that you can buy with in-game currency and they make your character a little bit stronger a little bit healthier it's great dead space two um you had the same kind of a thing but they had a couple ones that you could buy there was like the ones with like certain country flags on it and that looked kind of cool and you could pay like a buck or two it was yeah, fine that's fine got to dead space three and it was like okay you've got like two available to you and there's like 70 of them that you could just buy and i'm like all right this feels wrong but like at no point was i ever like man i need that new suit i should shell out the extra couple bucks and then even if you it. did shell out a couple bucks it hurts no one besides your own wallet yeah, and it's a single player game, and that's why with the Shadow of War, I kind of have it. I kind of it hurts no one besides it. your own wallet. Yeah, I agree with that. And what I don't agree with is when you buy something that makes you better than other people who yeah, didn't and, buy something. Yeah, and I feel like matchmaking. I think Halo is still Halo two and three, still the best matchmaking that has ever existed. You know why? Because you could pick that game up five years after it's released. You know, barring any sort of like servers being shut down, <laughs> and you could get on and you could play against people that are your same level. Yeah. After you play a few rounds and get either smashed or destroy everybody, it puts it, you yeah. in a little spot, and it still does that. It says yeah. you're a level twenty one sniper, and guess who you play against? Level twenty one snipers. Yep. If you're better than them, you'll level up and you'll go to level twenty two, and you'll play with guys that are your same. And most rank. Ma- most games that match make they have a healthy community. That the same thing happens. Oh, do they not do that for Battlefield? Yeah, they do that. Oh, they okay. no, but, they but, don't but, do it, but if for you're Battlefield one, are you kidding? Not Battlefield. Battlefield one, uh, yeah, Battlefield sorry. one, Battle yeah, they front. do that. I think they're in I'm wherever. My Battle F, yeah, dude. Up. Oh, they balance the teams. They, Battlefield they, they balances teams. the teams out to whatever level you are, so that it's like a, an average on both sides. Yeah, yeah. But it does not throw you in with people. It that doesn't are your do level. Halo, but it tries. And I don't think anybody's mastered it since then. And that's kind of where it becomes an issue. But then when, also, when you have sixty-four players on the same map, I mean, how much do you have to pull from at a time? That's true, yeah. I can't stand being pulled off. But anyways, Battlefield 1 is slow, is is probably pretty much, it's getting close to dying Battlefield 1. And that's in part due to their very lackadaisical release of their DLC content for those who have bought the the season pass. I haven't touched it in months. And because of that, you have the players who haven't bought the season pass who still play the game and people who did buy the season pass and still want to play the game and enjoy the new maps, they can't do so as much anymore because the player base is down. And so this is what they're trying to do with battlefront Two. Hey, all the DLC is free. They made, but they need the to make money somehow pass for the first game free for how long? I don't know. It might still be. Uh, I downloaded oh. everything like 
it was but like see they they made ago. it they make it free so they their entire player base can come back and enjoy all of the yeah. maps together yeah. they're not dividing their player base and it, the whole that's point. why i think halo is so much better than all of these other games because even with that they even with made more money <laughs> even with all of those games being uh all the dlc being free you're still going to run into problems where everybody has all the heroes and you don't so it's going to be harder for you um with halo everything is standardized everybody has every weapon <laughs> Everybody's nothing is extra. The weapons are, yeah, nothing is extra. You just find the fucking weapon on the map, and it is your Yeah, weapon. but Halo also has the advantage of being its own unique universe where they could set the rules, whereas DICE is making a game in an already set universe, and people want to play as different things, and they have to balance yeah. all that out. That is true. You know what, though? In Battlefront 2, the original Battlefront 2, uh-huh. I didn't like playing as the heroes that much. Yeah, me neither. I, I I'm not a hero person. Trooper. I like playing the trooper. Even in, in, in this new Battlefront thing, I don't like playing the heroes as much. I like being the normal, normal like, Joe like on the battlefield. The, I like being the heroes. I like throwing, <laughs> the, throwing the sabers, doing lightsaber fights between people. Yeah, it's. I prefer just killing people with guns hmm. Yeah, and lasers. So, I don't know. Maybe well, I won't care. All right, I'm not gonna buy it just because I'm cheap. Was, anyways, that we was can a nice little discussion. Anyways, we can make a, a question from us to you about what would be a better pay format to get extra money yeah. for a game that has free to play DLC. Yeah, I'm also gonna put a. What uh, is your preferred? What pay is to play? What is your preferred? <laughs> what is your preferred way to give to, for the developer to keep making money when they're giving away their DLC for free? Honestly, in my opinion. They shouldn't just give their DLC away for free. I think, uh, see, but see that divi- for a multiplayer a, game that divides the people who want to pay for the DLC. If it's a multiplayer game, it should honestly mostly be cosmetic. I, I agree. Yeah. Uh, now a new hero, I don't think that hero should be better or do more damage quickly than a hero that's already available in the game. But if you want a different hero. I think sure. Yeah, see, that's that's exactly what we think too. So yeah, I think they can. But make it's with it, star cards, we're not heroes. They but can yeah. make it League of Whatever, Legends. I don't know how the hell the game works. Where it's <laughs> where it's balanced and like, yeah, this hero is gonna beat this other hero most times, um, but they're not gonna be so overpowered that you can't kill them, kind of a thing. And I, I can't stand some of the heroes in the first game. So I don't know, like the Greedo guy. Greedo yeah. was a yeah, but hero. Then, yeah, he that's was because the they don't have prequel content and there aren't enough fucking the bad guys. argument for the League of Legends thing. League of Legends, the game, is free. That is true, yeah. And so you're paying to play past that if you want to. It's still a free game. That Battlefield's not a free game. I could see a world, though, where Battlefield was a free game and then they had all this crap. I don't and think I don't think anybody would out. be mad. No, they wouldn't. No. There are a lot of free-to-play games that are... And the shooters that are already out. I do wonder like just how much money League of Legends is still making. <laughs> a lot. It's, a it's like the second biggest MOBA ever. Yeah. So behind, surprised. I think Dota 2 just shot the fuck up. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, Which is what odd are you, to me. But. What are your feelings on EA purchasing Titanfall? What do you think they're going to do to that? Fuck it, like they do everything else. <laughs> just like they did with the Ultima games. Like Give they, me no, your no. cash. <laughs> They'll do what they did with uh, with uh, Sim City, and they'll make it unplayable, and then they'll give you a free game. It'll be awesome. Oh, they'll just make it unplayable. Yeah, they'll make it unplayable with microtransactions. That was the best thing that's happened <laughs> to me from EA is uh, not being able to play that game on purchase release. a network connectivity DLC, and then getting a uh, si- yeah, 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 the fucking network connectivity <laughs> DLC, and then getting a free sixty dollar uh, Dead Space three on PC. Yeah, actually pretty fun. Some uh, some some good uh, memes have come out of the situation where, don't try it down again. I have purchased the high ground DLC. Yeah. <laughs> Can I say something? Um, Ellefson Coffee is uh, what's uh, sponsoring this caffeine sponsoring. episode. Not Except sponsoring. Except for Caleb Craig, who bought this mocha crap. Stuck. Sponsoring means they gave us the uh, coffee. You look over and it's a... Uh, we purchased the coffee. I will say, we tried Roast in Peace... Obviously, big Megadeth fan here. So when I saw that Ellefson had a coffee, I said, Schweiss, you need to buy the coffee. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I said, I already did. <laughs> and um, we got Roast in Peace. It's a dark roast. Honestly, this is really good coffee. Uh, <laughs> now, I'm not a coffee connoisseur. I was I grew up Mormon and still don't really know how to make coffee. <laughs> when I come to the coffee maker, I'm like, what do I do now? Um but uh, as far as coffee goes, 
uh, I'm I enjoy it. I this is my third cup. You yeah. know what, Joe? You know what would make that coffee enjoyment just that much better if you enjoy it in this nude clan mega mug that I have right here. <laughs> you did get the bigger one. That one's <laughs> way bigger big than mine. Mug. And <laughs> I can enjoy like at least four cups of coffee all in one go with this <laughs> mug. Like just an unending stream of caffeine. And uh, where do you get that mug at, Cameron? Well, you, it's conveniently available in our store. You know, once you purchase it off of our store, it'll get to you in a, in a few days. Yeah. It'll get there a lot faster than the Ellefson coffee will, I guarantee you. And, <laughs> and if, you, if you care about games as much as we do, and you want them to be better just as much as we do, you can show your support of Making Games Great Again by buying this Making Games Great Again it's hat. It's Make Gaming Great Again. <laughs> not Making make, Games make Great gaming Again. Gra- making Gaming Great Again. It's <laughs> Magaga. <laughs> it's a Maguga hat. Yeah, it's a, tr- a nice trucker hat. Good, uh, good old mesh on the back, so you don't get too hot as you get steamed up about what they're doing to games There's nowadays. A, I think we have another type of hat available too. Yeah, we have other type yeah. of hat. Yeah. Uh, in case you don't want the trucker hat, <laughs> you want. <laughs> honestly, the trucker hat is pretty great. When I saw it last night, Cameron said he got it. I was like, oh man, that's beautiful. That's yeah. beautiful. <laughs> Oh well, yeah. So I gotta get one of those mugs, man. Dude, this mug is great. I love it. Yeah. So it's really good. Mine's yeah. good too. It's just smaller. No, well, that's uh. True also, of many Schweiss things. wears the nude clan T-shirt about every other episode on the stream. That's too. true. Yeah, that's so. true. All those things are available if you want to uh, help support the show that way, and uh, also get some cool merch. Now, honestly. We tried to make the stuff as cheap as we could. They are not; it's not super cheap. But, no, it's uh, not cheap at all. It is one heck of a big mug for however much you paid for. Enjoy it. four cups I of coffee. I am looking into making shirts a lot cheaper, though. Be careful. Uh, but okay. there's there's a certain quality that we don't want to get to with making it cheaper. There's a certain I don't. That's want to deal part with of sales looking tax. into making it cheaper. <laughs> and our business model now is really easy. I don't want to look into. <laughs> Our Cafe business Press model will be great. Patreon. Gets usually, the, the, usually the uh, the great quality shirts um, cost a little bit more. So, yeah. How, oh, is this episode ninety nine? Yeah, it is episode okay. ninety nine. So next time is episode one hundred. I think we should all record in the nude, just like have towels on. Uh, so, despite how or a blanket for Greg. Busy, I'm going to be the next day after <laughs> Saturday. I do want to say I will be here for episode 100 of Nude Clan. There might be there might be 5 or 6 weeks here guys where I'm not going to be here. It de- just depends on how I feel. Honestly, and I'm sorry that it's depending on how I feel. Um Sorry, right, we don't need you. I don't see how that's any different. It's fine. I uh, you guys have done shows <laughs> without me. You've done two, I think, without me. And they were they were good. If we want to bring guests on, we can too. Yeah, yeah that's not a bad idea. Try to get Dylan or Jake. That's certainly up to you guys. However, um, no. I will be there for episode 100 <laughs> and what we are going to do at least we're going to allow people to call in mid show and talk to us. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, and you can ask us questions. Oh yes. It is going to be a Q and a episode. So guys send us like, so questions worthy of episode 100. Yes. Uh, and if you want to call us, our number is 385-204-3921. Could you say that a little bit faster? 385-204-3921. I, I, I meant slower, but I was being two, sarcastic. 385-204-3921. 385-204-3921. Perfect. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure that the number I have memorized is in fact the correct Now, can you sound like a used car salesman and say uh, it again? And so... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a Skype number, so you guys should be able to call in, uh, and we'll be able to talk to you for like a minute or two, and it'll be fun. So if you want to be part of that, what time we start tomorrow or next week? So I'm looking know. at you, Schweiss. You don't, <laughs> don't have a yet. you don't have a thing yet. No, it's only until next. Saturday. Are you going to be working on Saturday? I have no idea. Oh, that is not good for this show. I know. Okay. I understand. What what are Do you? Do you? <laughs> I want to be able to say a time that they can come on and check us out on Twitch. So Let's say 11. I want you to just name a time whether or not you're there. 11. 11. 11, 11 Mountain Standard Time. Yes. 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Twitch.tv slash Nude Clan Gaming. And uh, you'll be able to check us out there. When we're streaming, feel free to give us a call. 
Uh, okay. Getting fat. How's everybody doing? Oh man. Everybody's uh everybody's doing all right, I think. Yeah. 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 I wanted to uh I wanted to use this time to bash the shit out of Justice League, but we didn't get to uh we didn't get to see it last night. <laughs> no, honestly, the theater was too busy and then I got real tired and pissy. And so we had to go. Yeah, there's another theater not too far away that, that had was... one that was like 40 minutes away. That but was Honestly, dude, I was fun. falling asleep at 11 and if we had watched that movie i think i might have fallen asleep in the theater i was that tired uh so someday we will watch justice league schweiss watched it yeah and we'll have to talk about justice because i mean we talked about batman versus superman so much that it's almost like we owe hate that movie. we owe a justice league yeah, conversation we do. we do i do want to say that my review of the justice league trailer is still one of the worst trailers for a big hit movie i've ever seen yeah honestly i when i saw the trailer watching wonder woman i was like God. is this actually the trailer for justice league Dude, they have and not had was. good trailers it's a horrible trailer i saw uh, just like a bat I dig it that's the best part of the trailer Dude, they they made Batman so fucking campy, especially after like the dark shit that they had with like Batman versus Superman. Everything is like super dark, and then they're like, "Oh well, we're happy and well, that fun is, now." That is original Batman. Yeah. No, it's not. It's really Adam not. West. Yeah, Caleb, come on, dude. That's, that's, that's not, not original. Batman. The original Batman. ultimate camp. That is. Batman was fucking dark, even in the 39, man. Like, it's... Bruh. 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 Batman was so dark, dude. <laughs> dude, he... So, <sighs> so dark, bruh. You know what? I also just fucking hate Zack Snyder. You know, let's just put that out there. I, I don't think that Zach, anyone... I don't hate you. You should, you should not put somebody in charge of building your universe if he literally hates the characters that he's fucking building the universe for. Zach, I thought Watchmen was great. And 300 he liked, the, was thing, the difference is, he likes the Watchmen. He likes the Watchmen, so it's a great movie. You know what? He hates Batman, so he fucking shits it. Honestly, Zach, your style is very interesting no, and unique to it's you. It's not. It's good. And that is the mark of, a, of an interesting director. There's a lot of directors out there slow-mo. that don't have a style. And to me, it's much more interesting to see someone that has Superman's a personality not a dark and a character. style with their directing. Fuck you. You know nothing about um, it. That, uh, that uh, you don't get for, with other people. I'm not going to crap on Zack Snyder. I really liked Watchmen, <laughs> at least. Um, so I don't, I don't think it's a necessarily a directing thing. I think there's many people involved and. Yeah, the, the new so, movie was in development for a long time. Superman so. versus Batman, eh. Not great. It is but terrible. I don't think you like it the most. I don't think it's the craft no, I don't. of directing no, on set oh. that I have a problem with with Zack Snyder. It's so what? I'm just saying. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna crap all over Zack Snyder. Whatever. Whatever, Caleb. I'm getting into film mode, so just don't even worry about. It. I don't give a shit about your comic book <laughs> crap. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I think you're the only one here that does. <laughs> Fuck you, people. Read a comic book. <laughs> no, because it's a different medium. And even if that I reminds me, it, I need to swing by I can separate the two. You know what? The best ones are the ones that uh, take from the source material instead of just shitting on everything. <laughs> That reminds me. I need to go by Dragon's Keep to pick up like my nine issues on hold. Yeah, your your back issues that yeah. you paid Dragon for and never just like Sunday? gone yeah. there. Let's go hang out at Dragon's Keep after. Let's do that and have Caleb Schweiss go to work. <laughs> <laughs> let's yeah, let's do that. Um. So wait, you uh, what, what do you, you like the the Dark Knight trilogy though? Yeah. Those are those that close to the source material? Not really. They uh, they take from it and then they make it their own, which is uh, fine. I think that second what? movie is pretty close to the Batman. Oh, no, or the first one, right? The really close. Third one, one is actually. Oh, the I'm closest. sorry. I'm sorry. Whatever comic book I bought you was supposed to be like really close to that. Whatever that's the third one. Okay. The third one is taking from Nightfall and from The Dark Knight Returns. Okay. Let's see that one. I love that third one. I do too, and I like it more I than the first everybody one. Everybody hate I, 
I I've realized this last two weeks. I like a lot of movies that everybody just craps on. From a nerd crapping on a movie two weeks after it's come out. You mean like fucking Prometheus? How everybody hates it, and I both of us love it. Love <laughs> I like, Prometheus. I like Prometheus too. Yeah, like, that's good. Baby. But I not uh, but too when a bunch in that of universe. nerds get together, they want to do. They all when Prometheus comes up, they go, like, "Oh, Prometheus." <laughs> That's, it's, it's exact. That was a direct For me, quote. This is a great movie. I think it is a fantastic movie. But the trailer get, was better. They get so much <laughs> back. The trailer is amazing. Uh, <laughs> trailer. <laughs> Okay, good trailer, Prometheus. Best trailer Bad trailer, ever. Justice League. <laughs> I'm more into the trailer of Prometheus than I am the movie. Wow. Not that I don't like the movie. Oh, come on, dude. The, the surgery scene is one of the yeah. greatest scenes in cinema history, and it will be considered that. Maybe the movie might not be considered like a great classic, but that scene in and of itself yeah, that was pretty awesome. is such an intense wonderful you've never seen this kind of it's scene before fucking crazy. a lot of people didn't like the new one either i, it. I enjoyed it I too, too yeah whatever i really like the fastbender on fastbender action yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's pass the flute <laughs> but i don't yeah i liked alien covenant too of course i i liked alien 3 a little bit honestly so i'm not gonna alien 3 is not great Alien 4 is real bad. Yeah, Alien 4 <laughs> is garbage. I honestly thought Alien 3 was totally watchable. At least the version I saw. I saw the recut one. I never saw the original. Uh, I've only so, seen the original. Okay. Well, you have them all. I do have them which all. Which is how I watched it. So, <laughs> whatever. Uh, Cameron, how's all the goals going? Uh, well, I just remembered I have comic books I need to go by. So Perfect. there's that. Um, and then I had to dip into my savings to get my car more ready for winter. So there's that. <laughs> and then uh, I broke the diet this last weekend. And so there's that. And <laughs> um, I'm still behind on my book reading schedule, probably by like five books now. So there's that as well. How's the, uh, how's the blog posts? Oh, and I, I forgot about those. Those don't exist anymore. You mean that thing that you were supposed to do like multiples of because you failed the last What really is the funny thing is the punishment was and... to do just what I hadn't done. It was just to catch up. That was the only punishment. And more. There was... No, no. no, no. It was do, just to catch up. You had up. to do two for every one that you missed. No, no. You guys got to go listen to that sure. episode no, again. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> the forums are dead I, anyway, so. I can't. If that's true, I can't believe that we literally get got you got away with just that's doing what, what I got away with and I didn't do it. You just can't believe it because you punished Punish you harder. It's because we expect yeah, more. Yeah, you out people of you, are Greg. fucks. You squeal like a pig. We expect when you get punished, more out of so. you. Spor- expect more out of me. <laughs> <laughs> fuck well, you. We, what else can we you say? Go fuck yourselves. Mm. You just want to see me burn. You've given yourself. That's a why you suicide standard. everything <laughs> twice. <laughs> Gotta bomb yourself <laughs> to make me be in pain. <laughs> <laughs> so not going too well, camera. Well. I wouldn't. I did. So let's 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 take a look at this this viewpoint. Um, I did more in each category than I would have if I had made these goals. That's a good point. And so, if we're looking from an improvement standpoint from these goals, I have definitely improved. Did but you lose weight? You improved on. Weight. Oh, okay. Congrats. Yeah. You only improved because there was a goal. But that's the whole point of goals. You set. You set. Yeah, that is. You, the whole you point. set. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you set a goal, Craig. Craig, I mean. Realistic goals are much better because you do feel a sense of accomplishment. But if you aim to the stars, no, you yeah, you may just hit the moon. I think well, it's the other way around. But if you no, the stars are further. <laughs> I honestly, I have heard people say it the other way around, and they're wrong because the stars <laughs> are further, and you may hit the moon, which is closer but still awesome and big in a in, a, in an accomplishment. The whole point of goals is that you're 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 improving yourself. And if you don't make your goals, it's a it really is. great reflective Smart period to see why you didn't better. make those goals. Yeah. Um, but even like a big goal, you're still going to, if you go towards it, you're going to have way more improvement than if you didn't have any goals at all. Yeah. If you had no goal of losing weight this year, how many pounds would you have lost? <laughs> no, you would have gained. <laughs> Come on. We no, all no, know no, this. no. I, really what, hap- what would happen is uh, I, I would get to my last shirt that fits and then not want to buy any more shirts and then go on a starvation diet. There you go. <laughs> I have thrown away shirts that are too big, so I have no choice. Yeah, exactly. It's now it's the burn burn the village tactic behind 
burned yourself. You burned the village. It's the only burning way forward. the ships, Cameron. No, no, no. Villages because the Mongols did it. They burned their villages so they had nowhere to return to if they had okay. to retreat. I'm thinking the Roman general that had to take over. And- okay, so there's the Roman. Yeah, so there's the oh, yeah. KKK. Yeah, there's was the it, Roman general. The and then in the Gauls would burn their villages behind them. So they would have nowhere to return to. So they had to go forward. And so it's the same thing. You're burning your big shirts because you have no big shirt to go back to. Right. Yeah. But I think that the, the phrase is burning the ships. But they burned <laughs> villages, though. It's burning the ships, and we're talking just, about two just different let things. Him, just let him have his All thing, right, Joe. We can burn the villages. <laughs> um, Schweiss. Well, I am getting fatter, so I'm not... I'm not doing well on uh, on the weight loss. I haven't been doing my blog posts. I have done a lot more than I did last year, though. I've like tripled the amount, but it's still nowhere near what I wanted to do. I have not read a book in months. Um, <laughs> I'm, I, losing, my new, I'm losing vocabulary as we speak. Yeah, I, as we speak, I'm losing <laughs> my ability to to read out loud my thoughts. Um, I uh, I do enjoy reading out loud every once in a while. It's nice. Yeah, you get a lot more out of it. I think you do enjoy talking to yourself out loud every Shut now and the- then. <laughs> well, the thing is, is he doesn't know he's talking to himself because he just assumes kind of we're listening. <laughs> um, go to hell. I'm go, still, go directly to hell. <laughs> do not pass go to two hundred dollars and uh, stay there. I am not beating Craig at the hog. Um, but now you only have a full-time job, so you actually do have a chance. But it's more than a full-time job. It's because like, you're, you're choosing it to be right now. It's like now. 60 hours yeah. a week. He wants to stay on. I know that's why he's doing well, what's going to happen is he, he, he's setting a level of performance that he intends to let drop as soon as he gets the job forever. Well, no, the thing is, is the, the 12 hour day is only a thing when it's really busy. Oh, okay. It's usually eight. Like last night was eight because are you no one get, came around and asked me to Are you going to get 12. your time and a half? And by asked me, I mean told me I'm working 12. Because <laughs> I'm not an employee. I'm a, a slave. <laughs> are, you getting, are you getting your time and a half? Oh, yeah. You're an employee. Yeah. Uh, but he's at a seasonal position, and if he takes more hours, and he like looks like he wants just to. Just watch him put in all this fucking extra effort, and then just watch it just drop Yeah, but at least him. he'll get the money out of it. So Yeah. Even if that doesn't work out. That's he'll, true. He'll have um, a pretty big paycheck. I will. It'll be really big, actually, yeah. um, if the math I did was correct. Um, so that's going well. I should be able to hit ten grand on the house. Um, I'm just hoping that my pay is as awesome as I have anticipated it to be, and then I will certainly hit that. Do number. they pay you more per hour right now than Sykes did? Oh yeah. Even without the overtime? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Good decision. Uh, I don't have benefits though, so I'm gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> but uh, I'm just hoping- don't get sick. Well, there's That's a penalty the best for not plan. having them, too. True. Just but do I, what Joe's doing. I guess... No, dude. It's way too expensive. It's like 200 a month. Joe can live off of it. It's not actually too... Guys, healthcare marketplace, in case you guys actually didn't go on to it, you go in there, and based upon your um, your income... Yeah, I know. I make too much money. Twice, I make... I, I had to put... I just had to go into the healthcare marketplace because it closes on December 15th. I just had to re up. I now make like the next level up or whatever. And there's still, there will be a cost for your health care. That's so much. And then the government gives you a certain amount of money that will either you decide not to take and it'll be taken out of your tax return or it'll be given to you at your tax return. Or you can use part of your tax return to cover the bill for like a couple hundred bucks. Hmm. So, so if you see uh, if you see an insurance plan that says this is a three hundred dollar insurance plan, you're really going to be paying eighty five. Oh, okay. So that's, that's how where you have to actually go through the process of getting it, which people don't do, and then go, oh, they're three hundred dollars a month insurance plans. Like, well, yes, technically, but you're not actually going to be getting that out of your paycheck now. You're also not going to be getting that money at the end of the year, and you have to weigh that with the f- with the fee, however much that fee is for not having health insurance at all. Well, how much isn't it a is it a monthly fee? Like, because if it's I don't have it for, for if yeah. I don't have it for December, like, will it matter? I think 
if you have if you pay for health insurance at some point during the year, you're not going to get that penalty because okay. that's all when you do your taxes. For the last two years, you do your. Ta- I've been doing my tax, and it's just, did you pay for health insurance? And there you go. Yes. <laughs> uh, last year, or, point this year, or a couple of years back, I said yes, but it said um, for all month, and I said no, and then it had like all but two, and there was no problem. So yeah, it should be fine. And I, I'm not. I don't use benefits, so I hate the idea that they're forcing me to get them. But um, I honestly, the healthcare marketplace. <laughs> I'm mad at it right now, but it's. It's really useful. And if you don't have health insurance, go on there and check it out. Yeah. You, you, there is a point where you can decide not to get the health insurance through the process. But you should see how much it's going to cost total at the end. At least go through the process. Yeah. Well, I'm just hoping I can. if I'm paying 84 I think you can too. I'm hoping that I can stay on at the post office because they love, they love their they employees. They love benefits. And they love giving those sweet, sweet benefits. So. Yeah. I would love to make them. Make them very happy and make me very happy. Yeah, yeah. Not having to pay for healthcare is great. Yeah, it's better than the one I had at Hostess, which was like <laughs> godly. How how much would what would what was your Hostess thing? It was uh well, I guess it wasn't godly. It was eighty twenty coverage on everything, right? And uh, how much out of pocket? Ten bucks a week. See, for me, um, my my job covers all my out of pocket cost for like for the month to month premium, but it's nice. eighty twenty for everything else. So yours is a little better. Yeah, I my. I get my income went up technically because they asked how much I would make a year on the job I have. And the plans got worse. Yeah, of course. So like now my out of pocket maximum is like 7,000. Oh, my <laughs> name. My old- it went from 500 to 7,000. Yeah. Uh, and, um, and I'm paying like ten bucks more a month. Yeah, the one I had <laughs> at like, Sykes, what the, hell? the one I had at Sykes was nine thousand out of pocket max, and it was a hundred dollars a month. Okay, it was awful. So <laughs> worst I've ever had. So mine is technically better than that, I guess. Yeah, I yeah. have to go to the IHC places, In, so, yeah, which yeah. are most of the hospitals around here anyway. But yeah. It's, uh, There's other plans so you could pay a month to month thing, but it's still your money. You're just paying it towards a that's pool what I'm of saying. money. I'm yeah. saying you're you aren't gonna feel the whole three. Talking about an HSA, yeah. So where you you there you you pay your money every month, but it goes to a total pool of money up to like five thousand dollars <laughs> that will then be your out of pocket up until a certain point. Oh, that's interesting. That's extra usually though. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, obviously, it's more money coming out anyway. But. I want, I either want, I, this is what I decided when my, my health, my, my money went up and it didn't like, I, I could understand if it stayed the same and I paid a little bit more. I can actually understand that because it's like, oh, your income went up. I guess, you know, you got to pay for the people who can't pay for health insurance or whatever. And you're going to get the same coverage. But my coverage got worse. And I'm paying more. <laughs> what? Uh, that that is the part that I was deeply confused by. And so for me, it's like we need a healthcare system in the United States that is either I'll take either one at this point. I honestly, I've I've gone back and forth on how I feel about socialism, medicine, or whatever. That obviously it works great in Japan and works bad in other places. And uh, I know that with like. Uh, with no socialism, which is pure free market, we've had really good things in medicine happen in the United States, uh, and then at the same time, really bad things because then people aren't covered and have to pay out of the out of their ass when <laughs> when something goes wrong. I want either one. Either I'm not forced to pay insurance and and healthcare is great, or great healthcare under a socialism plan that I'm forced to pay for and out of my taxes. I want either one. I can't stand this in between thing. It's an in between thing. I am sort of kind of forced to pay. And uh, then it's still, I have to go to a private company to do this yeah. instead of one single payer. I think system. we should just get rid of insurance personally. But So I'm back and forth. It's one of the two for me either all private or all public. Yeah. Um, if we tear that down, then it's just you go to the doctor. The doctor charges you what they want, and it's fine. You know yeah, why? You know why it's supposed to it's work? It's usually great in Japan? too much. 
I don't know if it would be too much. If I saw my doctor for five minutes now, mm. they're forced to do like a full on charge for like however long their appointments normally last. And they send it to the insurance. The insurance pays a certain amount, and then you pay the rest. If my doctor was a normal human being, did any other service in existence, I could be like, hey, how long is it going to take to do this quick oil change? Oh, yeah, it'll take me 20 minutes, you know, 40 bucks, whatever. They'll still make a lot of money. There just won't be that in between. So you're, you're, in you're Japan, expecting that the whole infrastructure for healthcare is just going to change. In Japan, insurance. the government controls prices for everything, which is why they're – Healthcare costs don't go up, except the fact that everybody's getting old over there, which is a real problem. But we don't have that same problem here um, because they control they control every aspect. So they got up like a big book of prices, and for a doctor's visit, it's this price range. For this type of surgery, it's this. For this type of medication, it's this. Which would piss a lot of people off in the United States who are making money in the pharmaceutical corporation or whatever. But that's how they keep costs down. And have a social social medicine over there. A lot of places don't do that. Um, so I looked into that and I was like, oh, that's interesting. That could work. But you would then have to be like, oh, government's going to control prices now. Um, yeah, which is not really part of the rules. It's sort so of against the rules. Yeah. But not that they care about that, you know. <laughs> I uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I want I want one or the other. I don't like Obamacare as is. <laughs> I think it's uh, not working. Not working for me, anyway. I'm mad at it. Yeah. What about My you, goals Caleb? are going great. <laughs> I, I don't know. Greg never went on to healthcare.gov and has no health insurance. Yeah, I do. Oh, you have health insurance I have, now? I get it benefits from my work. Oh, okay. All right. That, that was a few months ago. <laughs> I was like, why didn't you just go on there? I've had that conversation with other people. I've had conversations. Here's what will happen. There will be some staunch Republican poor person who I will be working with who's an idiot and just chose not to go on healthcare.gov because they didn't want to support the system or whatever. And they're like, yeah, I heard the healthcare prices are really bad. I'm like, you didn't even go through the process. You didn't even go through the process. It's not even that bad of a process either. <laughs> so... Whatever. Maybe they just don't want everybody else to carry them. Whatever, man. Whatever. I'm just trying to save you money in case you <laughs> break your leg. <laughs> no, I get it. I just, so, you know. I don't know. I'm going to sell this to a uh, libertarian for that. Take control of whatever I can to get ahead. Yeah. Objectivism, as it were. <laughs> That's fine. Um, Do what you want. Yeah. My goals are growing pretty great. Not gonna get to two hundred pounds at the end of the year. I don't Neither think. am I. <laughs> but I have lost seventy pounds now. Wait, Took how much do you weigh? The last few pounds have taken a couple weeks. But what do you weigh? I weigh two twenty five point zero. Okay, uh, you're within ten pounds of me. From two n- right now. Right now. Yeah, but you are two inches taller, so that's gonna gain you like ten pounds. Yeah, I also think my body is in trauma mode so really, for I'm my like, new job. <laughs> really, we're like thirty pounds away from each other. 30 pounds in, like, how the weight is going to How hang. much you're supposed to? Yeah. yeah. Probably. Yeah. We'll have to see when we when you were 30 pounds lighter than me. <laughs> Who looks fatter? Well, the only, the only thing I'm basing that on is, like, we did both of our BMI lookup things, and we were 10 pounds away from each other based on our height. Yeah, yeah. So my assumption is then I have to lose 10 more pounds to look like he does at a certain weight. So sucks so I, I we're actually at a bigger gap than you think you're gonna look fantastic at 205 i'll tell you that you might start seeing some thinning but it's not a big deal because <laughs> so hair because hair is for women <laughs> on the head anyway oh okay all right In this not country. on not on the elsewhere okay <laughs> what wait <laughs> wait what <laughs> the elsewhere the elsewhere <laughs> yeah yeah women don't have hair down there right yeah, no. Yeah, it's no, bald. No. They don't crap either. Or no, they don't. Too. Or fart. No, that. Nope, women don't fart. They're delicate <laughs> beings. Uh, yeah. Okay, do we have anything else to talk about? Or are we going to wrap it up? I think that's it. Okay. All right, guys. Go to newclaim.net. Check out our other shows, Ultima Final Fantasy and the Godzilla Podcast, which will have a new commentary up soon. Um, oh, yeah. Dragon Quest. Uh, uh, Puff Puff Hour. 
Puff Puff Hour. Puff yep, Puff yep. Hour, Dragon Quest Podcast. Check that out. Twitch is twitch.tv slash gaming. Facebook.com slash Podcast. It's new spelled N-E-W-D there. Please go check out our forums. We're going to try to get a little bit more active on the forums here soon. Uh, so that's uh, nudeclan.net. Click on the forums tab. If you want to support the show, there's a store at NudeClan. You can uh, see on the NudeClan site that there's a Patreon you can go to, uh, which... Uh, this is our, our Patreon donors basically sponsor the show, so thank you very much. Um, we uh, we are going to get a new mixer, and I'm trying to get these guys to let us use to use the funds to buy some chairs. <laughs> I like my this, chair. This random collection of chairs that hey, we have here. I spent, I Caleb a, Schweiss is in a camp all right, chair, all right. guys. <laughs> I need a throne. No regrets. That's, that's I all purchased this chair we, from a thrift um, store, and I enjoy it. We quite, should find quite, a good... A utilitarian sort of chair that all four of us can use. No, mine needs to be a throne. Mm. I am the, I I am the king hog. Chair. We're not going I to demand waste Patreon. I <laughs> demand a throne. A throne. If you I want, haven't gotten my ring, and I probably won't get my ring for this year. No, that's because you're going to lose, you fat piece of shit. <laughs> no, no, I don't think that I will, Schweiss. Uh, you can also click through the Amazon Fuck link, uh, and whatever you purchase on Amazon after you click through that link, we'll get a small kickback for yeah, uh, get your Christmas gifts. It's please time. Do. Please this is do. when we make money off of you people. So please, <laughs> please, God, go through Amazon. And um, guys, uh, I might not see you for for a few weeks after episode 100, but um, my my new goal for next year, I'm gonna really try to work on the shows a lot little more. Little bitch. So what? <laughs> <laughs> heartfelt moment. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I recommend Hardwired to Self Destruct is something you could get off of Amazon.com. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, uh, that's a great, great place to get that. If you want to get it, Battlefront, <laughs> Battlefront <laughs> too. is a good way. Uh, just going through Amazon.com and getting. Some um, on pre-orders, you do get a discount on Amazon if you have Prime. So. Yeah, twenty percent. Yeah, nice. That's pretty that's good. The pre-order cool. and the first week, actually. Oh, yeah. and if you want to subscribe to our Twitch channel. You can do that through, if you have Amazon Prime, you can do that for free, basically. Yeah, we created a Joe moat, a Joe emote, but we need to edit it, so I'm going to send Joe the file and have him make uh, the yeah. sizes go <laughs> <do> <laughs> uh, uh, We'll get emotes for each of us for that, so that'll be fun. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it. We will see you next time. Enjoy the nude. May the list go on. Live always in the nude. Mm nude. Yeah!